Okay, I should be live. Um, yeah, looks like everything's good. Let me move my OBS out of the way. Let me make sure my stream's going good. Okay, looking good, feeling good. Okay, cool. We're live. Uh, and we're here, getting ready to play Act 2. Of... Illithids run. <laughs> Sorry, I um, feel a little lethargic after just waking up. I'm getting here though. Hey Tim, hey Nicholas, hey Samuel, hey David, hey Sinity. I don't know why I always hesitate when I say your username. <laughs> How's it going, gang? I'm glad you're all here. So I, uh, I split my audio a little bit. So if it sounds weird, let me know. But I, uh, it's just so I can play the soundtrack on Spotify, and then so you guys have some like music to listen to. Well, I'm actually playing the game, so the stream won't be silent, but the recorded VOD that I save onto my computer will be. So, yeah. If it sounds weird, let me know. I, last time I tried to do this, there were some audio glitches, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. If it does, let me know, and I'll just fix it, and then hopefully everything won't freak out. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Olivia. Hey, Beastie Forever. Hey, Caleb. Hey, Jess. Hey Mira, how's it going? Hey Lightning, hey Pseudo hey Aiden. What's the plan for Merkel now that you can't blind him? Um, so, big shout outs to Damon over on our Discord server, link in the description below by the way. Uh, he was kind enough to test out um, some other possible strategies for beating Merkel. Uh, I mean, I was, I was testing some backup plans while he was doing that, but... Uh, for those of you who didn't watch Fracture's video on beating the game with True Strike only, the way he beat Merkel was he couldn't outheal him, uh, but he did beat Merkel by just waiting around a hundred rounds, and then Merkel just stopped spawning guys, like he survived a hundred rounds in the Merkel fight. Um, so we wanted to see if that was something that we could replicate, uh, and Damon was kind enough to do that. Uh, he had a save that was like pretty close to the Merkel fight. Uh, so he went in there and uh, survived a hundred rounds with Merkel uh, and it didn't really work but then he went back and he triggered Merkel's sacrifices so he, Merkel was in like the, the eating people stage of his life and then he uh, survived the hundred rounds and that seemed to do it um, so hopefully that is something that isn't just like an inconsistent bug, but actually something that is reliable after like a hundred or so rounds. Like it wasn't exactly a hundred rounds, it was like 90 or so. So we just needed to survive like, you know, a hundred or so rounds, 90 something, I don't know. And then we'll beat Merkel. <coughs> oh goodness gracious. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah, one can hope. That is the wrong save, Thelonious Monk. I was trying to do some testing with Merkel too. That's why I was on Explorer here with Thelonious. He was the only character I had that uh, was relatively close to the Merkel fight. Any thoughts on patch 6? Um, so I don't like the Merkel changes. Um, I Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're just trying to make Merkel have as little counterplay as possible. Uh, especially with, like, the stealth buffs they gave that fight, too. Will you reach Merkel today? Oh, almost definitely not, no. Um, hopefully tomorrow's stream will reach Merkel. But, um, yeah, I don't really like how they're making Merkel just have, like, no counterplay. Like, he has damage reduction now, too. His, uh, his little Necromite study summons have armor of Agathis. Like, they're just making the fight really... You can't do much in it other than just do it the intended way, and I, I don't know, I don't really like that. Other than that, I'm glad Shield Bash is working. Uh, for the people who play with Companions, the whole, like, romance upgrade seemed really nice, but, yeah. Are we gonna do the gauntlet, or are we gonna use knock and skip it all? We're gonna do the gauntlet. I don't, I don't really mind doing the gauntlet. Like, the only thing that takes any amount of time is the Your Gear fight. Um, I'm actually gonna... Turn down the music audio for uh, just a just a smidge. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really mind doing the the Yuri Gear fight. I think it makes you know it's, it's an exciting time. 
Yo, big dog, love the videos. I binged them all this weekend. Hey, thank you. I'm really glad to hear it. Okay, let's um, let's do a little quick surveillance of what we got going on. Do I have the light cantrip? I don't think I do, actually. I was expecting it to be a little bit of a higher level going into Act 2, so I didn't take it at first. Um, that's okay. We'll just use, like, a, a torch. Yeah, we'll use a torch. Surely I have a torch somewhere. There I There's a torch. Okay. Now we've got a torch. Let's get going. You're gonna fight your gear or tell him to unalive? I mean, we'll try to get him to unalive himself, but I'm not gonna, like, save scum it or anything. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, so. Did you go to the arcane tower? I did, yes. How do you get from Cambodia to the United, A United Arab Emirates? Um, go through Saudi Arabia. You definitely do that. Uh, Israel. Jordan? Is Jordan on the way there? Something like that. Hey, Heels on Wheels. Thank you for the listener to your membership. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm going to turn down the music a little bit more, even. Just a smidge more. Hopefully it's not too quiet for you guys. I just really like the sound of my own voice, so... There you go. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate it, Eels on Wheels. Thank you very much. The support is very nice. Thank you. Um, these guys are all probably going to die. I don't think there's much we can do about that. Um, I'm going to quick save here. I'll throw on... Resistance. Uh, I'll drop a little shield of thralls on myself. Uh, should I sanctuary myself here? Probably. Am I going to? No. Let's go. Is it random BG3 music? Yeah, it's just random BG3 music playing in the background. How's Theodosia? She is currently at my feet, screaming at me, and trying to get into the wires under my computer. She's doing phenomenal, though. Theodosia, come here, baby. Come here. Stop! Who's there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be distracting her every now and then. She's just a little baby cat, and sometimes she likes to get up to no good, so... Um can try to slink back into the shadows. A nightmare in the dark is definitely a Michelle line, though. All right, freak. <laughs> Don't move. Hopefully that doesn't get us killed. It's not random. Well, yeah, okay, it's not random. I'm playing the album in order, but... Yeah, it is just Baldur's Gate 3 music. Does the Apostle of Merkel playing Heart of Cheese drive you closer to fighting him honestly, or to breaking out Harder Cheese? Um... I mean, like, with the challenge runs that I'm doing, I can't always fight him honestly. Like, this one, like, we just can't- we literally- the map does not add up. We cannot out-damage his heals. Uh, so it just drives me to find other ways to cheese him. Uh, I don't like fights being, like, impossible to take on without having a certain amount of damage because it does make low damage challenges just feel way less fun because uh, then you have to find other ways to break the challenge other than just you know doing the fight honestly so to speak like blasting him down with 80 billion concentrated blasts but uh yeah have you seen the method to save the guy who gets killed in that fight? Polymorph is fun. Yeah, I heard you could just like polymorph him and then he like appears outside of the last light in and but people still hold a funeral for him. I can't wait for the Legacy of Ball song to come on. Might be a little while, but the stream is going to be going for a little while, so. Been watching all your content plus VODs, so happy to support the channel. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. Rip Jonas, yeah, for real. Uh, don't move. I will not take care of this, but I will get ready to fight, I guess. Can we actually run from this fight? What happens if you just run? I'm kind of curious. Step out of the light and you're done for free. Aw, man. Fight with us or die in the dark. To arms! No! How long do you usually stream? Seems like my past few streams have been around seven hours, so probably around then. 
Uh, wow, this initiative order is, is pretty bad for everybody here. Oh, hello, cat. There's a cat on my lap. Yeah, the Outer Ring of Illithid Powers only unlocks in Act 3. DPS checks in single-player games feel bad. It, yeah, it doesn't feel great. I mean, I get that you're supposed to have more than one character, and so the DPS check isn't really supposed to be that hard, but it's still a little annoying. She's come to consume the wires. She really has. She just, like, hopped right off my lap and then went straight for it. Well, there goes her strength. I don't know what happened to the music. Um, I don't know if it's still playing or, or what. Hold up. Let me, let me check. It is still playing. It's just this song is significantly quieter. Okay. Well, that wasn't the most phenomenal start. But at least some of the shadows are injured. Uh, maybe we drop a stage fright somewhere here. Can I hit a decent amount of these guys? They're, they're like really spread out. Very rude of them. I don't think a stage fright would be horrible though. Uh, especially since none of them are concentrating on anything. We can do... Uh, Concentrated Blast, Stage Fright, and, um, and Heal. I like that idea. Are the Shadows resistant to Psychic Damage? They are not. Phenomenal. We have a chance to just blow up one of these Shadows. Probably most likely to blow up this guy. So I'll just go for this guy and see what happens. We didn't do it, uh, but that's okay. Then we'll just go for a, a wee bit of a stage fright here. On We'll do it on these three, since these three are the closest to me. Do a little bit of a stage fright. And then we're gonna move out of the way over here. And we'll just use a... We'll use a little baby healing pot. Actually, it might have been better to just cast Guidance or Resistance again, then we could resist their stuff, and then we'd also get 8 temp HP. Sorry, I always need to really like recollect how to play my character after uh, taking a little break. I think this challenge might be a little easier now, though. Act 1 with barely any power looked like it was really rough. Oh yeah, the start of challenge runs is always going to be the hardest. Once we get like items and uh, better ways to, to deal damage, it's always going to be better. Um, that hot bar organization though i don't i don't understand why y'all are so invested in what my hot bar looks like it's I, I it's never really bothered me to have to like press an icon that's just like two rows down from the one before it like you know who cares if there's gaps it's just it's just never bothered me but i mean hey to each their own uh, okay. That stage fright didn't go phenomenally. Uh, we do need to do inventory management, my favorite part of this fight. Uh, sorry if you guys can hear my cat, by the way, she is, uh, she's being a gremlin right now. Send all this crap away. Send to camp. There you go. Uh, hopefully that's okay. I didn't know anyone mentioned it. It's, it gets mentioned at least a few times per stream, but it's okay, Infamous. It's okay. <laughs> you have to embrace the hot bar chaos. Exactly, you get it. Uh, okay, so we're going to... I would like to start killing people. Um, yeah, so we'll just cast... Resistance. And then hit somebody with a Concentrator Blast. We'll blow up this guy. We might as well. Boop. And then we will heal ourselves with a bigger healing potion. Do I not have my Periaptive Wound Closure on? I don't. 
I have my Amulet of Misty Step on. Whoops. That's okay. Don't use the Mage Hand or Lung if you know you know to carry a torch or something. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Ah! Oh! Sharp, sharp little cat on my lap. Uh-uh. No attacking. Even Theo be hassling you about your bad hop bar. Yeah. Maybe that's why she's attacking me. By the way, Truin, are you going to save fellow miner Thaniel? No, I almost definitely won't. This is, a, this is an evil playthrough. Even on my good play... Oh! Ooh! Sharp cat! Sharp cat! Hey, hello there. How's it going? Yeah, that's going to blow up my own ally. Uh, we'll wait till she dies to um, blow everybody up here. Good lord, Theodosia. Good lord. That's all I have to say to you. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, we'll kind of just do a, a repeat of last turn, but without the healing, I guess. Um, this is about to look, like, really bad for us, but I think Repulsor might get us out of this bind. Uh, maybe I should have saved the stage fright. Either way, we're going to go ahead and cast Resistance. Do a, do a little Concentrator Blast. We'll go for the 22 health one, yeah. Mmm, mmm. What's our th health threshold for that, anyways? Um, I think we can survive this next turn, but may it might be worth considering using Sanctuary, uh, just to be, like, extra sure. Would be okay. I use one more healing potion to refresh our Bless. And then hopefully that's that that'll be good. Oh yeah, Halson is dead. Yeah, there's there's definitely no saving uh Daniel then. <clears throat> Why not have Blood of Lathander equipped if it's it's not gonna hurt us? Is it? Oh no, Blood of Lathander is definitely the play. Uh I just uh I just don't think it's very fitting for this character to be able to use like, you know, good divine holy power when she's a bad, bad girl. Has the Concentrated Blast healing been useful? Oh, definitely. Okay, now we'll blow these guys up with Repulsor. This has definitely got to be a, a thing that happens. Um, so we'll just start with this, because this is always happening. Hmm, I was hoping that would do, like, a little bit better. Uh, and then we'll cast... Resistance. And I am going to go ahead and use Thanksury here. Um... Just to get just to get one turn going, and then it'll like refresh our resistance, so it's we're ending our turn with resistance up instead of uh, ending it uh, each turn without resistance. Uh, so that way we can resist the uh, saving throws better. That's what the spell does. <laughs> you get me. Nine blades playing in the background, best OST. The whole OST is absolutely banging, honestly. The painful interruptions are very amusing. I feel for you, but still very funny. Yeah, it's horrible, because she was sleeping, like, right before I started streaming. And then she, like, woke up just, just to stab me in the leg while, while I stream, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um... So, we're going to start this turn by using a Concentrated Blast on this guy. Then we're going to go ahead and... Use a potion of healing. Cast resistance. We should hopefully be good from here on out in this fight. It would help if they actually like end their turns next to each other so that the uh Call the Weak can help. These guys are hitting a lot of attacks. And I think it is unlikely for them to hit. They have a plus eight. Yeah, it is unlikely for them to hit. So it's just a just a bit of bad luck, I suppose. That's okay. Okay, this is this is good though. The, them all ending their turns here. How do you have two bonus actions? Level three in rogue. Uh, we took the thief subclass. You just get two bonus actions. Okay, so this is nice. We don't really have any more AOE though. Uh, so we're just gonna need to whittle them down with concentrated blasts. Uh, we'll go for 
rid of this shadow. 19 health on this side. Hopefully that does remain. Good, good, very good. I think this is going to be another Sanctuary turn just because of how many hits we took last time. Could toggle the reaction so it stops asking. Then it'll just automatically... Oh, wait, no, you could just turn them off. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a good call. Yeah, I totally forgot you could do that. Just turn off all that stuff. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is, this might just be another Sanctuary turn. Unfortunately. I hate burning through all my spell slots right away, but it's okay. We could just take a long rest once we get to the inn. Yeah, we'll just do this. Cast resistance. Maybe spend next turn healing up, and then the turn after that we'll blast these guys. I played a lot today and noticed the enemies have unusually good rolls somehow and I have 400 hours played. Might just might just be that kind of day, you know? Sometimes the enemies be like that. Uh, let's heal up a little bit. We'll just pass our turn. Is shield bash against the rules? Yeah, it is against the rules. Shield bash is not an illithid power, unfortunately. I haven't been able to catch a stream in a while. How goes it, Mr. Two Liters? Ah, that's a that's a good reminder. Thank you. I'm gonna drink from my two liter water bottle. You're lucky you're evil because Isabel is not surviving. Yeah, Isabel is definitely not gonna make it. Uh okay. We will blow up... I definitely want to blow up the shadows more than I want to blow up anybody else. I have no idea where this guy went. Oh, did they change it so you can't ping these guys anymore? They did. Good job. Good job, Larian. Should have been paying more attention to what direction they went then. That's the wrong shadow. Okay, we'll just... That guy's reeling, though. Which means I'm less concerned about that guy. So we'll just try and blow up this guy. Boop. Ah, pathetic. Come on, Michelle. What is... I need to find out what our threshold is. That's going to be important for us. Um, okay, we'll just re recast resistance and just down another healing potion just to be sure. Hydrated streamer is a happy streamer. You know it. Are you evil dirge or just evil? Just evil. Water from that bottle must be full of authority. You know it, yeah. Oh, oh our strength saves. Okay, at least we made that save. I should have moved back towards that guy so he had disadvantage. That's okay. Okay, this guy has 15 health. That guy has 13 health. We'll blow up the 13 health guy. Just get him with a little... Whoop. Uh, and then we will cast resistance. I don't really want to use more healing potions, but I will. I definitely could have been using less if I actually had my, my right amulet equipped. What made you want to start doing these challenge runs? Um, to, to do the actual runs, I just I did my first playthrough with one character, and I was like, hey, this is pretty fun. I, I wonder if anybody's made like any videos about this. I searched it up. I saw one video from Fion, and I was like, you know, if only one dude's making videos about lone wolf runs, it might be fun to do that for me too, because I also wanted to, uh, I wanted to get into voice acting, and. Uh, I figured, you know what, right now I'm really nervous to actually try and do voice acting proper. Uh, so maybe if I just make like narrative scripts for the video, it'll help me get practice in with like a lot of the same skills that I could use for voice acting. And uh, because it won't be like my end goal, it'll just be something that is easier for me to start doing. Because um, I was really nervous about trying voice acting and, and failing. Uh, so I... I just went for it, and I started making videos, mainly just to practice uh, voice acting and editing and stuff like that. Uh, and then people liked it, and now I really like doing this, and so I'm just gonna keep doing this, because this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Can you boost your damage with Kyle's Glow Ring? That's the plan, yeah. That is the plan. Hey, there's level 6. Very nice. 
Gonna gonna loot Harper Jonas. Thank you, Harper Jonas. Uh, truant voicing Minsk in Baldur's Gate 4. I don't know if I can pull off uh, quite the same gravitas that, that Matthew Mercer can. We do share the same first name, though. Okay, let's go ahead and level up, why don't we? Have you thought about assigning Concentrated Blast a hotkey? Yeah, that would probably be a pretty good idea, huh? Okay, so we're just gonna level up in Cleric. Uh, again, the rest of our level ups is pretty much just going to be cleric. I don't really see the need for any other class. Well, okay, wizard would be good as we've previously discussed, but it would have been have, had to have been something I could do earlier, because uh, otherwise it'll change my spell save DC to be based off of intelligence, and our intelligence is not good. So we're just going to stick with cleric for the rest of the build. Um, Matt Mercer is Minsk, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna okay. What, what are what are the propels? Prepared spells we got you rid of aid, lesser restoration. Okay, we already got that. Okay, cool. Uh, any level two spells that I would be that I would like to use? Not really. <laughs> uh, protection from poison. That's not the worst. That's a spell we can use. Uh, I guess we'd rather get rid of Guiding Bolt. And Enhance Ability could be useful. Uh, we'll take that over Healing Word. There you go. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, we don't really get a ton at this level. Some Life Domain spells. Uh, I don't even think we'll make a habit out of using Aid. I don't think it's worth the spell slot for us. But the additional spell slots, uh, sorry, sanctuary slots are definitely real good. And yeah, the plus eight health is always nice. Truant lore just dropped. Well, what is the, oh yeah, yeah. I guess that was quite a bit of truant lore, huh? The interesting thing here that you can blast minds of. Oh, comment gone. I missed it. Oh well. Have you ever seen Matt Mercer and Truant in the same room? Think about it. I haven't. No. That's a good point. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little quick save. And throw on our periaptive wound closure. My cat is just straight up screaming at me. She's just on the couch just yelling at me. I'm sorry, baby. I can't play. I do feel really bad, though, because I, I wasn't home, like, at all yesterday. And, uh... I got home and she was just like sitting in the dark, this just like by the door, just, just waiting Why for me. It was, it was five. so sad. You we can there. prob dox you from that info Step that forward. my name is Your Matthew. I've been pretty open about right. that and the whole like voice acting thing. I mean, I haven't tried voice acting yet, but. Uh, I'm Michelle Mind Freak. I serve lack at the Lich Queen. That's just kind of a lie at this point. Um, who am I? Who in the hells are you? Shut up! Aw, rude. Your hands where I can see them and follow me. Gonna give that cat abandonment issues. I mean, she like acts like I'm torturing her when I just go to the washroom and shut the door outside. How do you get in without the tieflings to vouch for you? Uh, you're about to find out, I guess. No ordinary Matthew, it's Matthew from Canada, exactly. Other has forsaken me for the bathroom door is locked. Yeah, she'll like stick her paws like under the door, uh, and then she'll like try and claw my side of the door to like rip the door apart i guess yeah i'm michelle mind freak and i assure you none of this is necessary you man is openly a matthew so brave yeah i know what can i say i've i've i'm really going through a struggle but i want other matthews to know that there is salvation out there um you at least explain to me why you're doing this. Where's Alfira's song playing from? From Spotify. <laughs> Just to give us some music to listen to while I play the game, but also don't have the music uh, 
in the like edited video because then it gets a little um choppy once i start to cut the scenes apart Destroy the last light, because why not? Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. We're an evil playthrough. I am not a true soul. There's our homie. How's it going, buddy? Imagine if you didn't have pre premium, uh, premium, an obnoxious minute of ads every 30 minutes. Yeah, Spotify without premium is uh, kind of a nightmare. She's infected. I Finally made it, was here this whole time, but my school blocks commenting on videos for some reason. Hey, baby Fitzgerald, I'm glad you made it. Is this true? Thank you for beautiful representation for all the Matthews. It's the least I can do, you know, spread awareness for the Matthew cause, which is being named Matthew. Um, I can just attack. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for later. We're going to get our blessing from Isabel first. Um, we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna nod for now. We'll play. Mm, 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 mm. I, I could, okay. This is pretty funny. We don't really need to be nice to Marcus. You know what? Let's be mean to Marcus. Let's, 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 I'm just gonna save in case this, like, does something horrible, because I, I haven't pressed this before, but we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be mean to Marcus. Marcus? He's been with us from the beginning. Since, uh, when did you join us, Marcus? Jira, come now. Thumbs uh, down? It's because I was mean to Marcus? Love the irony that Marcus is right and doesn't know it and thinks he's deceiving Jahira, yeah. Doesn't really change anything, just an extra fight. Okay, so it doesn't like stop the Isabel ambush. I didn't think it would. Enough of this. The absolute has given me many gifts already. She'll give me so much more when all the Those wings pop out real easy. God damn. Most of all will suffer for this blasphemy. Your life is mine, but in death you will belong to the general. I love the little, like, gang signs he throws up. Hey, we got a, we got inspiration for that, so we did something, right? Oh, God. Wait, why are we surprised? We knew he was a bad guy. <laughs> oh, no, am I gonna die? <laughs> you don't get to help Marcus during the ambush, though? Ah, that's fine. Gang signs looks like a Naruto pose. I mean, most Naruto poses look like a gang sign anyways. It hit me with that too. It was kind of rude. We got so much experience for that though. What the heck? You're surprised by the army of hands crawling at you? Okay, so the way I've always classified surprise uh, in in d d is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, is if you're surprised that like the com like the, the like some combatants have appeared and are attacking you, but I don't think I would be that surprised if Marcus summoned other combatants after like five seconds of being like you're gonna regret this, and then they just appear like right in front of me, you know? Like if they like, if he was like you're gonna regret this, and then he left, and then like. A minute later, crawling hands like jumped out of the bushes. That that would be surprising. Okay, yeah, let's, let's resistance again. Concentrate blast. Oh, there you go. Easy. Fifty XP each though. Hot damn. You wouldn't su be surprised to see baby finger crawlers from Elden Ring. Um, not in this world probably. <laughs> Matt moan. Yeah, it's gonna have to be an emote by the end of this. Uh, I work in mysterious ways. Enlighten me. Now.
Is she gonna attack me if I do that? I'll just show her the artifacts. Who cares? Yeah, we were doing enough in a, enough play testing here. Voice chat soundboard option. That should be a voice chat. We should set that up. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. Prize based purely off stealth versus perception in the tabletop RPG. So even if the enemy is invisible in a silence aura and hidden, if they roll low for stealth, they still won't surprise you. Yeah. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Strangest magic I've seen since roaming the ruins of Mithranor. Wouldn't it be more convenient to set up your resistance and blast the keybinds? Oh yeah, it would. I'll you know I'll do that. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Any idea what the next run after this one will be? We're just gonna go back to the class challenges. It's gonna be like a like a weird caster uh, poll that I'm gonna set up. So it's gonna be between Ranger, Paladin, and Warlock. And then I'll get Yol to vote on it. It'll be the poll will be up after uh, after the uh, the second act video comes out for the Illithid run. Um, my intentions are my own. Not with so much at stake. God, they really don't let you be like a cool, mysterious stranger, huh? Oh, okay, no, I thought she was gonna press the matter. Never mind. I'm a cool, mysterious stranger. If the next run isn't a wild magic sorcerer, don't open your mailbox. Well, it's, it's not gonna be, so... I'd be surprised if Warlock wasn't chosen. People love Warlocks. People do love Warlocks. Okay. Let's, um, let's throw our Defender Flail back on. Let's drop a little quick save. How many times have you beaten this game, Truant? Uh, it's been, it's been quite a few, like four or five, something like that. Uh, so how do I set up keybinds for my, my stuff? I've never done this before. You guys are going to have to teach me some hot bar management. Okay, so... If I want resistance on one, do I just like drag it into the first slot here? Yeah, is that, is that how it works? And then concentrate your blast on two. Is, is, is this two? Hold up. Oh, is this two? How do I get it on two? Why is there no two for it? Is it because I can't cast it? One. Ah, oh, all right. Well, I got it on one. <laughs> Am I doing something wrong here? Okay, that's four. Okay, two's down here. Sorry, that's my bad. Good. Okay, done. Put it two below the first one. That's so weird. Yeah, that's so strange. That's very weird. Keep trying slots till you find two. Yeah, that's very strange. Okay, uh, let's go talk to our, our favorite little quartermaster, huh? Quartermaster Tally. Should have trusted me instincts about that fist. Knew there was something off about him, but I just let it go. Wild magic sorcerer, sorcerer or a fireball level three spell slot your house. Like what happened to that one kangaroo land journalist? My goodness. We're gonna call the FBI. We'll drop a little guidance. Because of the basic bar that has two rows only. Yeah, I mean, I I guess um, I can understand that, but that seems weird that it wouldn't like, you know, change based off of the size of your toolbar. Oh, they changed this menu. My goodness. It really changed this menu. I kind of, I kind of missed the old one already. Okay, we have how much gold? We have 828. I would like a cloak of protection, please. Thank you. Um, you know, this wouldn't be a bad shield for us to get, but I think the reeling is gonna be better for us. Um, especially because we're gonna start to get uh, a lot more spell slots pretty fast. Uh, we don't really need much else from her i believe we're just gonna take that and we'll stock uh, start stocking up on some more healing potions too i guess we'll grab an arrow of darkness could never hurt to have balance that out uh you know what? we'll sell this junk while we're here too 
Is it, is it whipping cane? Where did I grab that? Ooh, what's your take on Broccoli Bob? Seems like a nice fellow. Uh-oh, there's a little gremlin on my desk. Uh-uh, Theodosia. No. Mm. I hate the new trading view. Yeah, I kind of I kind of prefer the old one, but it might just be like, you know, I don't like change. That could be it for sure. Okay. Uh good enough. Take care now. I don't know why they felt the need to make the UI bad. Who knows. All right, we got a cloak of protection. That's pretty cool. Theodosia is the darker. She really is. Uh. Did console UI update like this as well, or is this a PC mod? Well, it's not a mod. It's dead. I don't. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Just patch six. Oh, there's no damage. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was like, I could have sworn somebody's supposed to be in here. Your cat's name is Doja Cat. No, it's Theodosia. I'm gonna wander far. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, tight. She just sneezed. My little baby cat sneezed. Um, okay. Let me check my item list real quick to see if there's anything else we need here. I don't believe there is. I'm pretty sure you get the Fistbreaker Helmet Moonrise. Which is on the list. And the Callus Glow Ring is somewhere else. Um... It's right, it's close to where Balthazar is. Right, it's in that vault room. We need to get a knock scroll then, I think, because I don't think we're going to be able to um, lockpick that. At least not without a nat 20. Is the Callus Glow Ring under the inn? Alfira is dead. Yeah, sorry. She taught us how to play and then. Gone. If you're all right, Strange rocks you for the shapeshifter ring. I don't fun. think that'll be our, our best ring. I think I'd rather a callous glow ring and the blessed ring. Oh, there's a guaranteed knock scroll in the masons. Hey, Damon, thanks for the gifted membership. Thank you. The masons guild hideout. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure glow ring is is. Oh wait, is it in Balthazar's room? Okay. I thought it was in the room, in the vault room, like next to Balthazar. Uh, either way, we'll find it. I'm just gonna check to see if there's a knock scroll here. But yeah, thank you so much, Damon. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You you've already gifted so much, but yeah, thank you. Got no knock scroll there. That's okay. Just the vault room next door. Okay, yeah. You can get the buff from the shapeshifter ring and take it off, and the buff persists as long as you stay shapeshifted. I kind of prefer only getting buffs from magic items while they're on me. Um, just feels like that's the more intended way for, for magic items to work. It's the same reason why I haven't been using the uh, like the Drake Glaive that, the, with the Elemental Draconic Weapon uh, in previous runs. Okay, let's have a quick chat with Jahira. Please, be welcome. A drink to your very good health. Okie doke. Meet her stare head on as you examine her body language. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. She is anxious for you to drink the wine first, and it's an anxiety you recognize. Mm. Every maid prefers a blade in the ribs or poison. Who ambushes Isabel now? I'm assuming it's still Marcus. If I drink this, how long before the poison you've added kills me? Well spotted. But if I wanted you dead, I'd have crushed you with my vines. Anything that requires switching stuff around every long rest is sort of tedious to do. Yeah, I might do that stuff on my solo honor mode run whenever that happens. But um, yeah, I'm not really interested in in getting that optimize -y in uh, just these regular old challenge runs. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I prefer using Venian's breath no, for interrogations. Leave the subject paralyzed. Whatever comes after, 
I would have you standing on your own two feet. Uh uh, no, please. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll drink it. For 1d4 bonus to old checks, I'd do a little item shuffling, but I understand if Truant doesn't want to. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely the optimal thing to do, but, you know. You sure about putting everything else in the cleric, losing a feat from lo rogue level 4? Uh, yeah, I don't think rogue... Like, like, yeah, we could get a feat. Um... I don't know how useful a feat is going to be, like we still get two, which I'm thinking we'll just use one on an ASI and then one on tough. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, we're going to resistance up, we're going to, I'm pretty sure this is a charlatan inspiration too, we just don't let the elixir of truth work. And hold you to it too, I have every reason to be cautious. Not the combat music playing as soon as you drink, yeah. Parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. Which run has been the most difficult so far? Uh, probably... Probably this one. I mean, I don't know. Like, th I've died... I think the least on this one so far. But I'm pretty sure that's just more so because I've been being a little bit more optimal. Um, I've been, like, avoiding... Uh, fights, running away from fights, and not taking stuff on if I don't think we actually have a chance of taking them on. I've been playing uh, a little cravenly, I suppose. Um, Believe me, he was well but I do still think that it is the hardest. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Be sure to grab the Resonance Stone to double your psychic damage. Yes, that is definitely on the list. It's on the item list, despite not really being uh, equipment. Not only does General Kedrick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer... Solo fork only in honor of Mitten Squad? Maybe, maybe someday, yeah. By the way, did you kill the Spider Queen? Nah, I didn't kill the Spider Queen. an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. What's the music? Uh, it's just music from the, uh... Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack. This one is called Twisted Force. It's just playing on Spotify so that I have music to keep you all occupied while we uh, play the game. Okay, this this woman's yapping. My god. Uh, what do you have in mind? Find out once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword. Together we assault his Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. Whatever match until then. Okay. We keep drinking wine when we meet. Before you Bye. Go, you're not Isabel. She, she's up. Okay. My goodness. The name of your tab is similar to mine. No kidding. We will grab this stuff. I don't think we'll need to do a, a long rest because we just got a bunch more spell slots quite just yet. We'll loot this bad boy. It's locked, my goodness. Well, don't mind me, just gonna lock pick this. You wouldn't believe the amount of yapping she does in Baldur's Gate 2. I don't know, from what I've seen here, I, I don't think I'd be surprised. Take that tower-shaped key, don't mind if I do. Some subway surfers to keep us entertained while she yaps, pretty much. You betraying Isabel? Oh yeah, 100%. Um, and I think we might just do that, like, right now. Might be a bad idea, but... Oh, look at her, she's floating up there. We might as well just do this right now. There's not, there's not a lot of reason to, to save it for later. Tower-shaped keys for Mason's Guild hideout? Good to know. This is the rare side with the Emperor run, yes. Might want to kill Marcus for the Parasite. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to kill Marcus for the Parasite. Uh, I don't think Isabel's lasting that long. Short rest first. Yes, we will short rest first. Better than nothing. Um... 
Yeah, I don't... We're, like, pretty good on parasites. We're gonna get... We only have three more we need to get. Let me... Uh, that's, that's something I forgot to do. I forgot to look at the illithite. The illithite? The illithid parasites specimens in Act 2. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get enough pretty quickly. I think, okay, so here's the plan. There's two, apparently, in a Zentrum shipping crate at the docks of Moonrise Tower, and then one is on uh, that, the, 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 the Knoll Lady inside Moonrise, and then that's just all three, and then as soon as we get the Astral Parasite, we'll just get all the Outer Ring. And then we're done. But we don't need to get the one from Marcus. What game is this? Looks dope as fuck. This is Baldur's Gate 3, my friend. It is dope as fuck. Do you intend to fight off all the Shadow Cringe enemies or just leave and fast travel away? I'll try and fight them off. If it ends up being too hard, then you know, we might just run away. I'd recommend concentrating on something before you initiate so you can get going right away. Oh yeah, that's the plan. Um, if... Uh, if Marcus is going to be aggroed on us, we might go in with a Sanctuary, too, just to be safe. I get the feeling he's probably pretty pissed at me. Uh, given what I, what I did to him, like, two minutes ago. Yeah. So, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna drop a Shield of Thralls. I'm gonna drop a resistance. I'm gonna drop a sanctuary. Put a sanctuary on Isabel and put her to sleep. I, I kinda uh, am okay with Isabel dying this time around. We're evil. We're evil little guys. I've never seen how Damien reacts to Isabel's death. It will be a fun watch. I mean, Isabel doesn't really die. Uh, she just gets kidnapped and, like, turned into a thrall. But Aelin's reaction is pretty fun. Are you going to kill the Night Song too? I would if I could, but you can't actually kill the Night Song if you don't have Shadowheart in your party, so... <laughs> I will not be killing the Night Song, unfortunately. Hey, Isabel, how's it going? I didn't realize I had an audience. You do. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm gonna Isabel. eat that moon. It does look pretty good. What happens if you kill her here to prevent Marcus from taking her? I actually have no idea. Um, word gets around fast. We've been waiting, hoping against hope. Will you enact three? I will enact three. I I don't know what I will, but I will. Oh, kill the night song? Yeah, I might. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing. Wait, so the spear in the gauntlet doesn't work? Yeah, it doesn't work. Let me guess. It only works with Shadowheart. Like a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Thank you. Perfect. Me when I see Michelle Mind Freak. By the way, there was uh, there was a couple comments that I got on the Act One video of people uh, talking about how ugly Michelle is, which like I honestly don't think she's that ugly. You're gonna side with Marcus now? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't think he's gonna like really be okay with it. So I don't know if it'll be siding with Marcus so much as just uh, watching Isabel get murked. All right, bye. Good luck. And may the Moon Maiden protect you. What Michelle is legit the only hot Gith Yankee besides Lazelle. I mean, Wait. I've seen some pretty hot ones, but... Yeah, I definitely don't think she's ugly. I 
I don't get the gif hate. Uh, it's it's. I think it's mainly their noses that throw people off. True soul. How glad I am to see you again. Hey, oh my God, a water bottle. Hey, a water bottle. You you fit right in. That reminds me, I'm gonna take a sip of of, of water from my two liter water bottle. Uh, okay. Sounds like fun. I'm with you. <laughs> that works for me, man. I mean, we could say this because, like, Michelle doesn't really want to be taking orders, but I don't think she's at the at the pl point where she's willing to uh, not be a coward quite just yet. Once once we hit Act Three, we're gonna be dominating everybody. Uh, yeah. So we'll just be like, sounds like fun. I'm with you. You're gonna meet Catherick face to face. Hehehe. <laughs> You're one of them, aren't you? Just wanna say I love your videos. Doing a solo monk run at the moment, not as fast as Thelonious. That's okay. Thelonious is probably a little overly fast, but I hope you're enjoying your run. Time to go, Isabel. I wish I could scream like that. Please, my full name is a water bottle filled with piss. Okay, well, maybe you fit in a little bit less here, but welcome either way. Moon Maiden, guide my hand. Remember, Marcus got bribed for a pair of wings when the spell fly exists. I would probably get bribed pretty easily with a pair of wings, too. Oh, where's he going? Um... What? Oh, he just went directly under us. <laughs> this is some riveting gameplay. Alright, can't wait to see Jahira get absolutely clobbered. No way she's gonna be good. No way she's gonna be good this time. Okay, yeah, she's not. <laughs> Love the attack of opportunity into that. What does Lunar Bulwark do? That's mage armor? That's an action? You really want to do that? I'll psionic backlash that. I'm breaking my sanctuary on my turn anyways. Okay, we'll hit him with the concentrated blast. Boop. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to leave you out there with that guy. Have fun. Oh, what? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, he's going down there too. The moment AI turns friendly, it lobotomizes itself. It really does. The first time I joined your stream was before this fight on your bard run. Oh, good, good times, man. Good times. Jahira is yellow. Yeah, she's not completely against this yet. She's she she has hope for us. Maybe there's salvation. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead, dead. Oh, thank goodness they re-lobotomized Isabel. I was a bit worried during the Thelonious run, yeah. It was a little worrisome, uh, how okay she was doing. I'll Psionic Backlash that, yeah. Alright, this might take a little while, but she's going down, eventually. A little, a little resistance. Uh, oh yeah, I, I, I bound these to, uh, to keys. So my, my poor audience doesn't have to watch me uh, thumb about constantly. Are y'all you, are you just ignoring Isabel? She's your target, you know? <laughs> the general will be pleased if you go Wild magics work better than Bartholomew, though? We don't know that yet. Maybe he'll be like a complete nerd. Or she, if that's what we end up playing. Careful with Call the Weak on Isabel. It is our goal not to reduce her to zero hit points? Is that actually gonna like piss off Marcus? That would be pretty funny. I'll psionic backlash that. The second Isabel is an enemy, suddenly she's good and no one attacks her. Yeah, it's very weird that nobody's attacking her. Maybe the game wants like us to do it, but yeah.
Chad, <laughs> they're, just, they're like dashing away. What the hell, man? <laughs> they didn't even do anything that turn. Chad, Wild Magic Stork versus Virgin Swords Bard. Yeah, there's a good chance that Bartholomew is a virgin, but who knows? <laughs> I think you have turn on le I think you have turned on non-lethal attacks. I don't think I did turn on non-lethal attacks. I mean either way, uh call the weak can't or concentrated blast can't be non-lethal, so are you saying I have to do that? Wait, is my goal to non-lethal here? Do I, like I actually have to knock her out? I'm just gonna get them to do it then. I like how I still have the blessing of Salune. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them knock her out just to be safe. Every swords ball spard build I've seen just uses a bow instead. I tried to to limit the ranged attacks. You know, I tried to like generally get up there in melee with Bartholomew, uh, but it's really hard to justify not just doing two times more damage. I'll psionic backlash that. I don't think I'm gonna hit her again because there's a chance she will just blow up. Uh, so we'll just wait for the winged horrors to take her in. Once they're done killing everybody else in the inn, I guess. Tulene doesn't care if you knock up her daughter-in-law, I guess. That's not what knock up means. <laughs> but yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I love this peaceful little music we've got going on. Making this fight feel very therapeutic. Okay, come on, fellas, bring it home. What is Marcus even doing? He's oh, he's just he killing he's killing the sleeping guy. <laughs> hey, Luan Rabella. Love knocking up my enemies. Oh God, they all got turned. Come on, fellas. Please, I'm begging you. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Oh, we're outside now. Uh, I'd really like to not be outside. Why did the game just teleport me out there? <laughs> Will you be helping Kethrick until the end? No, probably not. I think we're going to betray him. Uh, once we get into the mausoleum, we'll like, kill Balthazar. Because I'm pretty sure if you help Kethrick, uh, you have to fight Balthazar in that one like really awful room uh, in the Mind Flayer colony. And I don't want to do that. Okay, well, let's, um, let's head back inside, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll start going for the lowest health person here. See you later, Teradicia. Back inside we go. Uh, I'm going to use a cunning action dash to, to get further away from the horde of people who are going to come for us. We'll do a little resistance. And we'll start um, doing a little ring around the rosy inside the last light in. Uh, I thought more guys were going to chase after us. I went in here too early, but now if I run back out, it's just going to be like awkward. Time. Maybe I can still do it. Maybe I can still do it. Yeah, we'll do a little concentrate blast there. Boop. We'll do a little cunning action dash. We'll go back in here. We'll get a little resistance. And I'm going to start using hotkeys because that's the thing that I set up. I feel like this fight's got my game acting a little choppy. I miss an hour of stream and you're allying with evil. I'm gonna have to watch it. I mean, we've always been allying with evil with this run. 
why are you all green so every chatter who's got a green name has a membership uh there was one stream where people donated like a bajillion memberships uh which is why everybody is green that's a little rude that they didn't die to that all right let's uh see what we can do here isn't there supposed to be big old vines that spawn at some point, too? I'm not green, and that's alright. Yeah, you don't have to be green to be a cool guy. Am I green? No. Frowny face. Brutal. Sorry, Miguel. Hey, Anthony. How's it going? I swear that went right through a wall. <laughs> hey, thank you, Saturday Hippo, for the listener to your membership. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the Green Gang. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be here a hot minute, fellas. Settle in. Get cozy. Sounds like we got the character creator music going, so... It's always gonna be a good time when that music's going. Alright, let's turn the corner a wee bit. Get them all dashing. Technically, our greens were charity. Yeah, a lot of it was uh, was gifted stuff, which I I still can't believe. I'm still reeling for that from that. After that stream, I went back and like watched the VOD and I <laughs> just like had my mind blown again. It was uh, a little wacky. OST be like, who are you? The OST really be like that. Green gang for a life. Elin's gonna graduate by the time you finish this. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while. I don't feel the need. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna blast Quartermaster Tally. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, I should probably just like get them all bunched up and do a, do a mean stage fright on them and then have them all uh, unalive themselves. Interestingly, Baldur's Gate 3 streams tend to have a lot of generous viewers in terms of gifted memberships and donations. That is interesting. It might be maybe because the uh, average viewer age is like decently high, at least from what my analytics tell me. Um, so it might just be people have more established careers. who are watching Baldur's Gate 3 streams. Uh, I don't think... Is, is five people enough? One, two, three, four, five? Is that enough for a good stage fright? That's not stage fright. That's stage fright. Is that even hitting the guy on the floor? Looks like it. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do this. We'll start thinning people down. Ooh, that's some good stage frights. We'll have to... Harper Elifer. All my homies hate Harper Elifer. And then I'm going to get in range of all these guys and just uh, hopefully they, they, they miss me. Thank you. Thank you. Would it be better to use Monk for more bonus actions? Not to commandeer what class you should be? Um... I mean, you would need to get, like, pretty high up in the monk for that other bonus action. And the extra bonus action, I don't think is really worth it. Because that's just one more Illithid power per, for, like, the next few turns. And most of our Illithid powers wear off, or, or like, can only be used once per short rest anyways. Uh, and Concentrated Blast is once per turn. So if we're, like, all out of all these extra Illithid powers, then it does literally nothing. So I, I don't think that that's worth the extra dip. Um, I would like to repulse these guys. Um, I don't think that's a bad idea. Just like do some extra damage to them. Oh, this is going to have a loading time. I've been called old twice today. I am aging as the streamer speaks. Listen, I didn't mean to call you guys old. That's not what I meant. I swear. Okay, there's some more damage. Uh, that guy's got 29 HP. We'll try blowing him up. Little avail. Uh, and I will provoke an attack of opportunity. 
Because they have stage fright. Okay, this guy doesn't have stage fright. But this guy does, so I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> yeah. Their chance to hit is pretty low anyways. Uh, and then I'm just gonna end my turn here. Should be fine. If you really need another bonus action, you can grab the Helmet of Grit in Act 3. Yeah, if you really need to. I don't think it would will be necessary, but... I'm dealing with Carpal Tunnel Syndrome at the moment, so I'm living the Baldur's Gate through light through, through your streams. Oh, man. I hope your Carpal Tunnel gets a little bit better. Somebody hit us. That's just rude. At 100k subs, you have to hit the Gritty. I probably won't hit the Gritty. I don't even really know what the Gritty is, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, that person still has Stage Fright and they're stunned, so they're not going to die to the Stage Fright. Uh, so we'll just finish them off with a Concentrated Blast. Hit them with the Concentrated Blast. We'll do a little Guidance on ourselves. And now that Stage Fright is worn off, I think we're going to disengage. And we're just going to start walking away. Being surrounded by taxpayers instills fear into my very being. Gotta pay your taxes. It does suck, though. You better find out soon. It won't be long till you hit 100k. I give it a year. I would be pretty sick, man, if I hit 100k in a year. That would be insane. Can we see Cat? I'll show Cat after this fight, yeah? Actually, I don't think I will. She's sleeping right now. I don't want to wake her up. Because then she'll just go into gremlin mode again. If she, I'll, sh I'll show her next time she crawls up onto my lap. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Hit this person, do a little a little resistance, do a little disengage. Where do you guys want to go? You want to head out onto the balcony? That sounds like a fun time. We can get a nice view of the moon. A romantic little uh, balcony picnic. Average YouTube reviewer age is 25 to 34. TikTok is under 24. Good to know. I didn't realize that was a thing across all of YouTube, that it was just 25 to 34, because that's my main audience. Why did you side with Marcus? Wouldn't it be easier to protect Isabel? I mean, it's almost always easier to not protect Isabel, but I sided with Marcus because we're doing an evil run this playthrough. Who am I blasting? You. Alright, there you go. That's another one down. We're making progress, gang. A little disengage. Get a little out of here. Someone cast Awaken on Cat. I would... Okay. I would never really want to be able to talk to animals uh, in general. Uh, especially my cat. Because I'm really worried they would say something mean to me. And I just don't think I could handle that. This fight is just the average caretaker in the kindergarten when it's lunchtime and they have snacks. Oh god. You might want to use those boxes to get on the roof. Um, yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could do that, for sure. Might as well get up onto the roof. Oh my god, I almost just, just melee punched somebody. Uh, you have 24 hit points. Oops. Can't wait for Call of the Week to just get like a little bit stronger. Resisto. Do a little resisto, do a little disengage. Get up here. I trust Miyazaki, but that DLC better be a game of the year contender considering it's the same price as Helldivers 2. Yeah, I, I have high hopes for the Elden Ring DLC. And high expectations. I was, ex okay, there you go. I was going to say I was expecting them to start coming up onto the roof with me, but. Cat going to roast you? That's what I'm afraid of, yeah. Push them off with a force tunnel. That's not a bad idea. Might as well. I was getting so lost in the rhythm of just doing this and chatting to you guys. FromSoft has never disappointed with the DLC. Honestly, I often find their DLCs better than the, uh, the base games. Okay. okay, fellas. I wish I could repulse her just to like highlight where they're going. Um, so my force tunnel says it's going to hit everybody here. I think that means it's going to blast some of these guys back this way. 
Uh, we'll just do it and see what happens. You know, maybe we at least get one. Worst case, he survives, like, somewhere down there, and then we have to slowly kill him after. Um, I don't know if they're close enough. You know, I'm going to spend another turn luring them a little bit closer to the edge, just, just, to, just to be sure. We'll just blast this, dude. Quartermaster tally. A little disengage. Get you all over here. Hopefully they don't fling me off the edge. That would make me real sad. In a normal playthrough, what is your favorite Illithid power? As a Paladin main, Call the Weak is my favorite. I only... So this is my second time using Illithid powers. Um, because on all my challenge runs, they're just not allowed. <laughs> so I, I don't really have a ton of experience with them. But I definitely... Uh, on my first run and in this run, I have seen Call the Weak being the highlight. Flight is another really good one, yeah. I think just uh, all the extra time spent with Call of the Week definitely elevates it, though. All the homies do want to kill... Kill? Oh, no. All the homies do want to kiss Witchy. Oh, no, I swear they, do, they don't want to kill you. They want to kiss you. Uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just blast them off the roof. Boop! Yeah, that's how I was worried that would play out. That's... Okay, so it, it's based off of, like, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's upsetting. <laughs> oh, well, good practice, good practice. Black Hole is another really good power, I like that one too. You gonna allow yourself to damage using the Displacer Beast form? Yeah, I will. Oh my god. That's a lot of hits that we're taking here. Aren't you guys supposed to be, like, really bad at hitting? Ruin had a Freudian slip. I swear, I swear I didn't mean it. Uh, okay, well. We'll, uh, I'll just rinse and repeat. We'll get the old resistance. Get the old concentrated blast on, uh, this guy. And then we will disengage. Start heading up onto this part of the roof, because why not? That was so unsatisfying. Yeah, you gotta... You pretty much only send people, like, head on. I think if, if they're, like, in front of you when you end your uh, force tunnel. Otherwise, you kind of blast them to the side. So I think maybe in that circumstance, it would have been better. Like they were all lined up like here. It would have been better if I just did the dash like parallel to them. Which is something I need to keep in mind. I just saw your playthrough of this run act one yesterday. Amazing content. Glad to see the stream on my For You page. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Hudson. Thank you. Are the big vines still alive? They never po They never spawned. I'm just, like, skipping letters and, like, replacing letters. I am not good at speaking today. Am I ever good at speaking? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what's the deal with the big vines. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And we're gonna hit Quartermaster Tally this time. Very glad to see her blowing up. Um, you know, there's not a ton of point continuing to disengage. Maybe we can get out of the archer's reach. If we go, like, here, you know, they might have a hard time hitting us. We'll see. They did not. Don't you think people should be joining the server? I do think people should be joining our Discord server. There's a link in the description below. It's pretty cool. And like the stream. Yeah, that's a great idea, Damon. I totally concur. Join the Discord server. This is a threat. Oh, no. Which is going to kill you guys. Can't wait for two months to go by so that I can watch Persona 3 Reload Challenge Run videos. Yeah, I, I'm probably gonna going to watch a playthrough of that. I don't think I'm actually going to play it myself. Uh, just because, like, you know, I played Persona 5 uh, Roy Royal, and that was a very, 
very long game. Like, it was amazing. It was, like, one of the best games I've played in my life. I loved the experience, but it was long, and I just don't think I have the time for a, another game that long. Three damage. Good lord, Michelle. Michelle doesn't want this fight to end. Okay, now that we're on the roof, where, where are we going? <laughs> Am I just gonna jump back down this way? I guess so. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little disengage and start heading towards the edge of the roof. I joined the server today, and now my skin is clear, and my son told me he respects me again. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the obvious solution. The soundtrack is so good, it's called The Surgery of Hope. Banger name, too. There is a Discord server, yes. There's a link in the description below. You should click it. Can I be someone's Discord kitten? You can be the whole server's Discord kitten if you try hard enough. I think that's what Witchy's going for. <laughs> Joining Discord is a fun time for people who don't have social anxiety. Not me, you'll stay safe, though. Hey, that's totally okay. There's no pressure. Judging from the interface, Michelle is a bard, rogue, cleric, anything else right now? She's actually just a rogue cleric. Uh, this inspiration is... We can't do anything with it. It's just coming from our gloves. Blast this dude. Um, so I can't climb down this way. We're gonna have to jump. We can misty step. When does this come back? Once per long rest? Oh, it's going to provoke an attack of opportunity anyways. Uh, you know what? Through it, we ball. Uh, yeah, we'll just provoke the attacks of opportunity and jump down there. Ow. Oh, we missed a guy. Okay, now we're going. Hey, there, there's the vines. I love that little scream she did, and then just to take zero damage. I am the server Discord kitten, not gonna lie, yeah. I normally don't join other people's servers, but Truant Souls are super chill. Yeah, you, they, they are pretty chill, guys. Um, you all are pretty fantastic. I like how... Uh, you do your best to be respectful of each other. It's very cool. Hey! Why are you allowed on the roof? Uh, that's not earth. You can't, you can't, uh, root where there isn't dirt. Fun fact, I have never had Isabel die in this fight. My god, you are built different. Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever with these, with these extra vines. Okay, I'll just... Immune to psychic damage. Okay, we're gonna have to run away from the vines then. <laughs> I should have checked that first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Spaghetti-O. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these. Okay, we'll just kill these guys and then we'll run away from the vines. Might as well get the extra XP. Today we reviewed Facebook food. Yeah, you guys did do that. Uh, I'm not a fan of these. Are the big ones immune too? I mean, probably, but you know, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore those guys. I, I guess it makes sense because you can't upset plants. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could, I could definitely see psychic damage hurting these plants because they're very clearly not regular plants. But I can also see them it not hurting them. That's okay. Oh. Wasn't there an illicit power that removes immunities but gives them lifesteal? Because how are you going to deal with future enemies with immunity? Uh, I don't think there's any major fights that are like necessary that have immunity. Um, so we'll just avoid those fights. But the power you're thinking of is uh, perilous stakes, which makes them vulnerable. It doesn't make remove immunities, it removes resistances at the very best. True souls are simps of the absolute. Truant souls are the haunting specters of the truant. <laughs> yeah. 
I have set plants every day, so I find this very unrealistic. Yeah, can't you like cause grass to scream? Like, isn't that what mowing it does? They like they like release little screaming pheromones or whatever. Uh, I remember reading like a Tumblr post or something about that. Join the server to also watch month monthly things. We recently watched Kubo. Yeah, we we watch movies on our Discord server too. If you guys are into that. There's a lot of people just like staring at me from the roof. I feel kind of bad for abandoning them. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be right up. I'll take some good berries. And all this junk too. Don't mind if I do. Oh wait, is that good food? That's good food. Okay, we'll start dashing up back to the roof. I don't think there's any like major loot that we need here. I would like to, oh my God, his majesty is dead. Reload the safe. This run isn't worth it. Join the server if you're gay. A lot of gay stuff happening there. <laughs> there is, yeah. <laughs> Umbral Tremors are immune to Psychic in the Gauntlet. That'll be fun. Oof, oof. Uh, that'll be a, a hard fight. Uh, I don't think the Dark Justiciers are, though, right? No, they're definitely not. Pretty sure I've... Yeah, no, that's what I used last time as Thelonious to beat him up. That's okay. As long as the Justiciers themselves aren't immune... It'll just take a while. That's okay. That's part of the challenge. I'm not concentrating on a spell. Get me concentrating on my spell. And then I'm just going to end my turn. I don't want to dash up there just to be shot like a million times. Oh, I'm just getting shot a million times from above anyways, huh? Fun fact, Hubs was willing to live with his choices with this fight until he saw his majesty died. Yeah, it's pretty upsetting. Just call Balthazar to deal with them? We could do that too, but I kind of... I, I try and avoid cheesing fights uh, if I can. In my playthrough, after Isabel got abducted, His Majesty was an enemy but didn't attack and I let him live. Good, as you should. Where are the leaves from the vines changing so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the foam? We do love an Uncle Iroh reference. Wait, can I just blast them from down here? I sure can. Hit that guy, and then we'll start going this way. Get a little resistance. I uh, will dash up onto the roof so that... Okay, we will not dash up onto the roof. We'll dash close to the roof, and then hopefully next turn we'll get up there uh, so they don't have the high ground bonus. I've really enjoyed feeling smarter than a potato with my current success on Tactician. I know that I'd just be an idiot sandwich in Honor Mode. Yeah, Honor Mode is is definitely another tier of, of solo challenge. Have you seen the new show? OMG, it sucks. I have not seen the new show. I've heard not the greatest things about it, uh, which is a shame. I, uh, I met the kid's dad, like the kid who plays Aang. I met his dad... Um, at my old job, he came in and he, he uh, I don't even remember how we got on the topic, uh, but he, yeah, he mentioned that his son was playing Aang and he started showing me like a bunch of behind the scenes uh, pictures. It was like son on set and stuff and he looked so happy and it looked like such like a little good time and he was so proud of his son. So I was really hoping it was going to be good. Okay, we are not getting up there. They're blocking the way. With... How is this person blocking the way? There's no way they're taking up that whole ledge. Okay, we'll just go this way then. Maybe, maybe this little alcove can give us some cover from the archers. That dude probably loves telling people that. Oh yeah, if I was dad and my kid was like... Ang, I would be losing my mind. That would be insane. <laughs> I shall collect all of my friends to join the Cult of Truant. We must grow. Hell yeah. Fortunately, the success of the show isn't reliant on that young man. I'm sure he has a bright future. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. 
If I was your dad, I'd tell people all about you. I don't even think my dad understands what I'm doing. <laughs> he, uh, he called me once and he, he was like, yeah, your mom told me that you were making YouTube videos now for a living. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. Um, he was like, cool, what are the videos about? I was like, Baldur's Gate 3, it's a D&D &D game. And then he just kind of talked to me about his own D&D &D experiences for like half an hour. And then I was like, well, that was a good chat. See you later. And I was like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Uh, but my dad used to play D and D actually, uh, when he was in high school, which is wild because he was in high school like forty years ago. <laughs> truant lore, yeah. So more, we're getting a lot of truant lore today, huh? Dads do do that, yeah. Awkward, supportive dad voice. We stand, yeah. Having a dad that played D&D is sick. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool when I started playing D&D. My dad was, like, really stoked about it. Um, and he was actually, like, really curious at first when I first started playing. But he's definitely more of a talker than a listener. So you, after, like, the second time of me telling him about my D&D experience, his eyes kind of just, like, glazed over. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. I don't know why I keep disengaging. It's not really worth it at this point. As a dad of my cat, nice job out there, sport. Yeah, I'm a dad too now. It's wild. What's your AC? These bastards are nearly always missing. I love how you said that like right after I got... Or I, I read that right after I got hit. At least my AC is 23. And I think these guys are um, also like just really bad at hitting too because they're little zombie guys have you ever played D&D &D with your dad no I haven't yeah let's take a look at their their attack rolls yeah they have a plus plus four to hit um, at least the ranged guys do and the melee guys have a plus four to hit too yeah so they're they're not good at hitting Uh, who are we blowing up? Well, blowing up this guy. You know what? They're catching up to me and swinging on me every turn anyways. I'm just gonna stand here and take it. And, and we can focus on chatting. You and me, guys. D&D &D is old. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. You probably played first or second, which is... Uh, hell, good chance he played Baldur's Gate 1 when it came out. My dad was never into video games. Uh, he definitely didn't play Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, the only video game he ever really enjoyed was Myst. Uh, we we used to play that together on the on the home family computer. I remember liking it, but my dad would we would we didn't have internet at home, um, so we would go to the 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 library, the local library, and he would print off guides for how to beat the puzzles, <laughs> and then he would just like. That's how he would enjoy the game. He just loved going through the guy and to solve the puzzles. He wouldn't actually try and solve them himself, but he loved it anyways. I'm the only one in my fam that's into D&D except my bro, and it's so sad because I don't have many friends to play it with. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hard to, uh, to find people to play it with in person for sure. That's so dad. It really is. Mm, that guy's kind of low health. Uh, maybe, can I get in range of blowing this guy up without triggering it? I can trigger one attack of opportunity. Okay, mm there's some more dead folks. 5e is almost older than me. That's insane. <laughs> That's wild. First and second edition D&D was meant to be a board game, not a lifestyle. Uh, yeah, I think my dad played ad advanced D&D, AD and I think is what it was called. Uh, yeah, we'll just start blowing up one of these guys, I guess. They're all relatively the same health. How old is 5th edition? I don't know, actually. 
Let's let's look it up real quick. Five E release date. Uh twenty fourteen. There's no way you're 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 like ten years old. <laughs> I guess you did say almost older than me. I'd like to consider myself a tasteful suburban dad in the server. We do love us a suburban dad. I, I think I would like to be a suburban dad vibe wise, at least at some point. I don't really want to live in the suburbs, um, but I would love to have like, you know, barbecue days where I like invite over the neighborhood and I wear like little Hawaiian shirts and I, I drink beer the whole time and I, I chat about the weather and, and taxes. I think that would be fun. We gotta get an actual D&D game going in the server. I do think that would be a fun time, too, yeah. Texas of Canada, I'm telling you. <laughs> like a West March where there's multiple DMs and stuff. Uh, there is somebody in the Discord server. He was in the chat here earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but Infamous has his own D&D server. I know they're doing like renovations on it now, but it's that style of thing like West Marches and there's like a bunch of different DMs and stuff. Um, Maybe that's something I can talk to uh, uh, Infamous about doing. Maybe maybe get like a little collab between our servers. Must be so boring for the Shadow Creepers. They don't have anything to do. Yeah, it's their fault for being immune to psychic damage, honestly. Okay, almost done. One dude left. I have a D&D &D session in like 30 minutes. Ooh, awesome. Have fun. Baldur's Gate 3 tabletop? Yeah, that'll never work. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, that is everybody dead. Let's, uh, let's loot them. And then I'm just gonna go latest, and I'm just gonna... And all that junk to camp. And I only really care about looting Quartermaster Tally. Because I'm sure she has some good stuff on her. So we'll grab her stuff and then we'll just get out of here. I've never played D&D. &D. This game is my first experience. Uh, there's definitely a lot of differences between D&D &D and Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, the tactical gameplay is still pretty similar though. So if you like the the combat tactics and how they play out, it, it, assuming you're not using like cheese and stuff like that, because enemies are obviously most enemies are a lot smarter in tabletop because they have another human being controlling them, uh, so they're not just going to like pointlessly chase you or if they can't hit you or something, and they'll, um, you know, they'll prioritize going after you healers stuff like that. Yeah, that, that is some nice loot. Thank you, Quartermaster Tally. Uh, and then we need to get a little bit further away and flee. Let's get out of here. Jahira, par wait, Jahira has a parasite? I guess she did have one on her, right? That's a good call. I gotta, I gotta go back there, guys. <laughs> oh, no. I saw that like a second too late. Okay, let's, let's go back there. Hold up. Are the plants gone? Nope. Okay, at least we've broken initiative. Yeah, whatever. We'll take two HP damage. Okay, well, never mind. We'll take no damage. Where the hell is Jahira? There she is. Please have some form of D and D game in Discord. I need to play Throttles the Tabaxi Artificer. Well, I'll, I'll I'll think about how I can implement that. But it might be a little too hard without like redoing the whole server. There's no parasite here. What did she do with it? Why do you have such an unfancy bow? I just forgot to get the, uh, the initiative bow in Act 1. And then there's, like, pretty much no other bows that we can get until Act 3 because we're evil. 
Parasite dies. Aww. Kill oh, um, we killed it in the cutscene. His Majesty! No! Alright. <laughs> we don't have any other fast travel locations. We gotta walk out through the front door, guys. Sorry, that's my bad. Hold up. <laughs> Uh, can I sneak out of here? We're not really looking in the right direction. Alright, here we go. Excuse me, fellas. Coming through. Adios, muchachos. We, we, we need to be careful about this one. Gonna quick save. Gotta avoid these plants' eyes. Yeah, exactly. A little hop. Alright, alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. Wait, hold up. Can we do this? Can it be done? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ah! I accidentally pressed C! I pressed it too early! I was like, ah, yeah, we're out of here for sure. God damn it. <laughs> I snuck the whole way out just to press C too early. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, we're gone. It's okay. We made it out. Okay. There you go. We did it. What does C do? Oh, it, it's crouches slash uncrouches. Or hides slash unhides. Okay. Well, that's the last light in done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. My pleasure. Let's go find Karnas. I always forget where to find that man. Is he up this way? Oh, it's dark over there. I don't think he's up that way. This way, maybe. That doesn't look right. So we're killing Karnas? I mean... We're evil. We might just yoink his moon lantern and send him off into the darkness. Where the heck is he? Uh, why do I... Why am I so bad at remembering this map? Yeah, that's definitely not where he is. I don't feel like this is the right way either, though. I am lost, fellas. I'm gonna leave for a bit. Gotta go to the store. Okay, sounds good, Rune. Have a good shopping session. I don't know if you get a parasite if you send him into the dark. That's okay. We're going to have enough parasites anyways. Okay. You head out this way, and then... Do they go up here to the left? To the left? I wish Karnas was romanceable. No, it's not this way. This is where we came from. Why is it so dark over here? This is... Okay, this is where we started. Yeah, we're gonna get the Moonrise shipment of para parasites. You do get a parasite because you find him later and fight him in the Rethwin Town Square as a shadow being? Yeah, we'll probably do that. I think he's a lot easier to fight as a shadow guy. You don't have dark vision? Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I guess all my previous characters have had dark vision. <laughs> they sway. Doesn't look like the right way either. This is where the other guys are. Is that the right building? I think that might be the right building. Where am I? Where's my character?
it's the shadow curse truant, not the dim lighting curse. It's gonna be dark. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This is it, right? There's a dead Dwergar over there. Yeah, this is it. Okay, I found my way. Good lord. Okay. Um, I just did a little quick save, but whatever. We'll do another one. Uh, I'll do a short rest just in case something goes horribly awry. Uh, same with... Whoa! I will not cast resistance, I guess. Cell phone shadow in all picks, no matter the ankle lighting curse. Oh god. Here comes my husband. You guys have weird taste. I love that goblin. Webars. I will clear my throat to make myself known. We're trusting our charlatan skills to get us out of this one. Rider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasites squirm. Standards are free, come on now. Smash or pass Karnas. Oh, we're not doing this again, guys. We can't do this every stream. We can't do smash or pass every stream. <laughs> oh, God. You guys sure are going for it. Uh, the Absolute protected me, obviously. Can I just- I'm just gonna- just, I think this will lead us towards the Moon Lantern, right? Yeah, I don't know. How would smashing even work? I don't wanna know. We don't have to discuss that. <laughs> The hugs from Karnas would be killer. They probably would be killer, yes. Quite literally. The Absolute has asked me to carry the lantern. Hand it over. Don't mind if I do, buddy. Majesty. Is, is this true? He's got too many eyes and legs to be sexy. Um, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Where the web comes out. Good lord. <laughs> he has a mouth that's all that matters. You people. Good lord. Uh, good. You may go now. We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. That's fine. Chad is having a normal one. No kidding. I am both a true soul and a cleric. I've blessed you with the power of the absolute. You'll be safe. Um, huh. Oh, man. Okay, we'll say that one. And then we'll use guidance to make it even better. Easy peasy. If it is a majesty's will. Average truant chat. No kidding. Most normal Baldur's Gate 3 stream chat. I do feel like Baldur's Gate 3 players in general are like a, a little insanely horny. As a leg and eye kind of guy, he has the right amount of both. Okay, Logan, I see you. I think he has a charming personality. Uh, he, he definitely has a personality. <laughs> This is a horny game. Oh, it is a very horny game, yeah. How many parasites do you need to unlock all abilities? I, I actually don't know what the total is. There's 25 powers. I, I, I don't know if that's counting the center one. So I'm going to go with 25, I guess. We need three more. And then we'll get the outer ring uh, as soon as we hit. Ooh, there's a lot of rolls being made somewhere. Uh, and then we'll get the outer ring as soon as we hit Act 3. So it would definitely be more evil to keep her imprisoned, but I hate having to haul around the Moon Lantern, uh, so I'm just gonna let her go. <coughs> I 
As a warlock, I have greater old ones that I would smash before Karnas. Sometimes malicious. That's fair. Oh, please. Oh, golly. Oh, my. You must really so what happened in the last oh. hour? Not a lot. We just finished uh, the last light fight. It took us quite a while, and now we've just convinced Karnas to uh, head into the darkness and give us this. Yeah, we'll just we'll just unlock the lantern and release the pixie. Not to mention the pixie's constant dialogue is annoying. It really is, yeah. It's evil to set the pixie free. She's awful and you're sending her back into the world fair. Uh, I need to get through this shadow curse. Can you help? You will. I'm gonna chug some water real quick. My throat's getting a little sore. Uno momento, por favor. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. But what do you expect to run into in these parts? Hooey, that's some good agua. From my two liter water bottle, yeah, exactly. I see Karnas, my throat gets a little sore too, goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Now we got our Pixie Blessing, we got our Salune Blessing. We're, we're doing good on blessings, especially for, uh, for our evil, evil little weevil. Um, we are going to... You guys want to do the Garen Joth? I, I don't actually know the right way to pronounce her name, Jaren Goth? You guys want to do the Jaren Goth fight now? Can I get the rest of my powers and then can we do it? Where is the Zentarim shipment? Is it down this way? No, it's, it's at Moonrise. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go to Moonrise and then we'll come back for Jaren Goth. Yeah, I'll sell that. The gold lady, yeah. Ah, auto save. Garen Goth. Garen Goth. Okay. I can work with Garen Goth. I'm not an expert, but I think it's something like Jaren Goth. Oh man, everybody's saying the, the pronunciations differently too. I'm just gonna keep pronouncing it a different way each time. That's what I've been doing so far. <laughs> Okay, let's go get our last few Illithid powers. I can feel it. And then let's go test them out on that gold lady. His power, his Smasher power past Jaren Goth with the gold suit, suit or without. Oh god. It's actually pronounced Jared. Good to know. Yeah, sorry, sorry if it's like just a black screen for everybody on stream. I uh, I didn't realize how awful it would be to play without dark vision. Once we once we get more cantrips, we will 100% get light. Um, I'm here to take your head. Uh, yeah, we could do Minthara sent me. I have a message from Nero. Man, we have so many options for this one. That's for your superiors to know. That'll end the conversation quick. Answer the question, Truant. Smash or pass, Gold Lady. Uh, you know how I, I I don't have to. You can't make me. Uh, see you later. Okay, let's go get that Zentarim shipment. Which way is it? Probably not that way, huh? Down this way. Oh, it's so dark. I can't see. How do we get down there? Oh, pitch black. Okay, that doesn't look like the right way either. You have to go through the prison? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. This is the end of the family friendly streams. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Another truth. The disciple will want to see. Through the main doors. Okay, doke. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll do the cutscene and then we'll we'll worry about everything else. 
tenacity. Get that tenacity out of here. Nobody asked. Okay. What's up, Truant? How's the kitty? She's doing good. She's sleeping right now. Thank God for that. She was being a little gremlin earlier. How come a level 5 goblin almost kills Catherick in his intro? I'm assuming it's just like the... the uh, you know, it's Catherick just like letting him. Oh. Please spare Minthara. I I don't I don't know. I probably won't. Are we killing Minthara? We gotta assert ourselves as a lone wolf, you know. Wait, if we spare her, does she join our, our camp? Because if so, I'm definitely killing her. Ah, we'll just kill her just to be safe. <laughs> What if we just do nothing here? I'm, I want to see what this, like how this plays out. It would be pretty evil to uh, force Minthara to admit her guilt, though. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch. I'm just gonna. Mm, I feel like this is most in character. Hopefully, this doesn't go horribly wrong. Wah. It's okay, we've got a lot of inspirations. It's okay, we've got we've got more inspirations. Don't worry, guys. There you go. There's there's my success. You slip into Minthara's mind while all her attention is focused on saving her own skin. You can feel her guilt everywhere, writhing and churning. Wouldn't get that dog in him, that lone dog, yeah. I want to see what happens if you fail. We never fail here on this stream. I'm pretty sure this makes her die right here and now, though. That's okay. It's my fault. We don't need Minthara for anything else. She's served her purpose. Please forgive me. Guilty then, my lord. This is like watching a group social experiment. <laughs> no, she's the best. Okay, she is she is my favorite waifu in this game too, but uh I mean we're being evil. This is evil truant. Remorse. These are no use to me. Night Warden Minthara became a duck for a second there. I do do that sometimes, yeah. His death. Goodbye, Minthara. Make her passing slow. Tuning in the stream just in time for murder. Yes, sir. Why not kill her here? Be done with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me watch. <laughs> ah, the true soul who delivered a grove of non <laughs> Yes, you can save her as I select like the exact opposite option. <laughs> Happy as I would be to kill her here. Disciple Zarel asked for this honor long ago. Take her below. I'm ruined on some no. Please. I'm sorry, Jerry. Good gods, yes. <laughs> Listen, we're evil, guys. We're evil, and we're based around using psychic powers. We just used our psychic powers to get a woman tortured. That's as evil as it gets. Did you change your amulet? No, we're still using the perioptive wound closure. I'm not surprised you're a Minthara simp. Hey, listen, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Interested in a job in the American Senate. Yeah, can you pull those strings? That would be pretty sick. The scene is so good. Oof. Ouch. Owie. It's obviously a lot better with Catherick's, like normal music playing, but oh well. It can't get worse than killing Alfira. So I stopped feeling anything Dispose since then. The rest as you see fit. Yeah. Or better yet, uh, it's definitely an evil run. They've 
themselves reliable? Of course. Not. Yeah, yeah, I got the health amulet back on. No fear. Thank you for reminding me. Murdering Last Light is fine with y'all, but Minthara is where you draw the line. You heard the it's because Minthara is best girl, obviously. Deal with them however you wish. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this. Here in the seat of the absolutes. Oh, we've got the Raphael song playing for this one. <laughs> they will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when This playthrough is like num 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 horny for Carnus num num. For old times. Yes, last light is dead. We're having a really epic song for these goblins. Um Yeah, let's do a, not another breath. We're just gonna. I feel like uh, I feel like Michelle really likes just being able to control people and to like stop breathing. You know, that's that's up her alley. Imagine if we could actually do that. Holy, that shot goes hard. By the way, is that a thumbnail shot I just saw? That's pretty good. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed, but his followers are flesh and blood. All right, that's. They got garbage little loot though. I don't know why I'm picking up bombs just out of habit, I guess. New thumbnail just dropped. Yeah, that was pretty good. I liked that. I find your lack of tadpoles disturbing. Don't worry, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, we're gonna take that fried rat skewer though. Sorry, fellas. Don't mind if I do. Uh, does it mean Thara and get her mind wiped? Yeah, we can do that. If you want. That sounds evil. Are you going to romance the Emperor in this run? Unfortunately so. I promised you guys I would. Um, let's go bully... Uh, bully the Knoll Lady. I don't know why I'm picking up bombs out of habit, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be great for my, my election campaign for the American Senate. This whole stream. Okay, let's uh, let's get this lady done for. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to serve a soup, Barnabas. Get the axe, my darling. <sighs> Darth Vader romancing the Emperor is a strange thought. That is a strange thought. I agree. Now, how can Once I they see you say Smash Manthara, you'll win for real. I've never seen a tame knoll before. So Hey, congrats, Mira. That is the gift the absolute gave me when I stood before her. There's a lot of tadpoles in the shipping area belongs to the Zentrums. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head there in a second. We're just gonna do this and then we're gonna head down to the prison. And I guess we're gonna torture Mandara a little bit more. And then we're actually we'll for the sake of the video editing flow, we'll get the tadpole here, head to the docks, then torture Mandara a little bit, just for bunny. Um you actually stood Perhaps. before the absolute. It is one thing to hear her voice, quite another to feel the power she can grant. He's like, <laughs> don't. Uh, I'll I'll think about it. We'll see how I feel after the do the walk to the docks. What would you like him to do? Kill you. How about a dance? Nature call, what did I miss? Um We uh we sent Minthara off to the gulag and we're about to kill this lady. I really do like Minthara's voice, yeah. We could also free Mandara and then tell her you only freed her to kill her and then obviously kill her. <laughs> we could do that too. Okay, uh, we'll do a little quick save here. Are you going to try and grab Voss's sword for the advantage on saving throws? You know, I didn't ever think about that. Um, I don't think we have proficiency with great swords though, so... Does that- can you still just, like, hold it if you don't have proficiency with it and gain the abilities from it? How does that work? Um... 
We'll just do a plus four. I don't... Mm, we can use a spell slot. We can use a spell slot for advantage. That's fine. We'll do that. Lost the sword is a long sword. Oh, my bad. Oh, get do have proficiency with great sword. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like right the blade. Let me... Let me take a look at his sword. Now, Barnabas, Balin. No! Another parasite. Trace of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood and wants more. As the symbol glows, power courses. Hmm. Authority. Yeah, we'll use our authority here. Now, now, Barnabas, behave. That's my Michelle voice. I hope you guys like it. As if following a well -worn I gotta head to class. I'll be back if you're still streaming. Sounds good, Barry. Enjoy class. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. So I see Voss's silver sword. Doesn't say anything about giving bonuses to, to saving throws. Unless you're talking about a different sword. She's really got the careful you bully in high school vibe going. She really does, yeah. Oink. Oh no, we're encumbered. That's okay. Um, I'm going to sort by... Whoops, wait. I feel like the very heavy great axe is not helping us in terms of encumberment. Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. That's the one you're thinking of. Okay. Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Let's take a look real quick. Um, advantage on Intelligence, Wisdom, Charisma saves, Resistance, Psychic, Cannot Be Charmed. That does seem pretty good. Where do you fight this guy? <laughs> How have I not fought him before? He's in Shares's caress. I see. Okay. Yeah, we might get that. I'll keep it in mind. I'll look into it more later. Uh, oh my goodness, look at all this food. Welcome back, Rune. Gotta go now that I'm in the Discord. I'll def watch the next stream. Thank you. And if anybody else wants to join the Discord server, there's a link in the description below. You can command drop his sword at the bridge. I did know that, yeah. Oops, that's... Oh, that's tray. Don't Don't take the tray. Take the dried pork sausage, though. Don't just stand there. Okay. The silver sword will completely nullify the negative effects of the resonance zone, too. True. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for it. Okay, let's head down into the prison now, which I believe is over this way. Oh, you got jumped on the way back. Sorry, I, I, I missed that. Holy, I hope you're okay, man. Good lord. Yeah, my goodness. There's, there's Minthara. Okay, we'll get to that in a second, boys. How do I get to the docks? This way? After I joined the Discord, I found a wife, finished college, and became two feet taller. Would recommend. It's just that good, man. Enjoy the view. This feels like it's stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this place ever gets a clear day. No kidding. All right, where's the Zentarim crate? Is it called Zentrum Crate, or is it just one of these crates? A heavy chest there. Why are so many Baldur's Gate 3 Challenge Runners Canadian? Are, wait, are there other uh, Canadian Baldur's Gate 3 Challenge Runners? I'm not aware of the nationality of a lot of other Baldur's Gate 3 Challenge Runners. 
the metal cylinder back there. Oh, oh, that, there it is. I just saw that. My brain was like, yeah, that's a pillar. A little quick save. A little stealth. Oh, it's a cutscene. Desperate need to escape the Canadian syrup rush? Listen. Why would we want to escape Canadian syrup? Reach out, tadpole to tadpole. Give it a little... I guess we'll do this. It's the most Michelle option. Do a little guidance. Fail. How necessary is this? Hopefully not too necessary. A mental churning as your interference stokes the tadpoles into a boiling frenzy. The connection stops. Okay, I guess it is very necessary. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. I, I didn't. Oh, it's because I wasn't stealthing. Look the other way. I'm not gonna do anything. Look the other way. Look the other way. You're not gonna look the other way? Come on, man. Just just look this way. I'm not hearing much respect. Okay, there you go. He's looking that way now. We'll go back. Do a little stealth. Interact. Okay, so we just have to get that uh, that check or break it open or something. We'll do this. When I picked up the barrel, I just got the tadpoles without a check. That's pretty funny. Uh, can, can we just do that then? Hold up. Hold up, I'm just gonna try that. Why does he keep looking back here? I'm not doing anything, man. You've been warned? You've been warned. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Oh! Wasn't me. Uh, uh, get me out of here. Oh, wasn't me. We did it! <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. If you side with Kithrak, he gives it to you in the sewer. Oh, um, Voss? Yeah, the sword? Yes. Okay. That panic fast travel. It's, it's fine. It worked. Hopefully that doesn't... I'm just gonna go in and see if anybody else really cares. We're good? We're all homies? Alright, we'll just never go down to the docks again. I imagine the steel plus fast travel combo, a sudden smoke bomb drop. Yeah, basically. Okay, uh, looks like we're, we're pretty safe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spend these illithid powers here. We don't have much of a choice of what we're getting. We're getting charm, which is horrible and damn near useless, but... Oh, well. Uh, we got Luck of the Far Realms, which is actually useless until Act 3. And we've got Ability Drain, which is also actually useless until Act 3. Not a bunch of great abilities, but we, yeah, Call the Weak gets stronger, which is the main thing. Uh, so our Call the Weak threshold is... Does anybody know if it counts Illithid Persuasion? Let's assume it doesn't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. That's pretty good. Are you going to side with Balthazar? Nah, we're going to kill Balthazar. Siding with Balthazar doesn't tend to work out in my experience. It says evolved illithid powers. Is, is this an evolved illithid power? Who knows? Ninety percent worms, ten percent brain. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll torture Minthara a little bit, just just for Bunny. Hopefully, Bunny's still here. Did you make Michelle paler? I remember this being mentioned during creation to show her becoming more illithid. No, no, I didn't end up doing that. Ah, eh, she'll get fucked up visually, anyways. You were adored, Minthara. 
brought up from the darkness and into the absolute light. She cherished you. My goodness. What is happening in here? By your own desires. Bloodlust. Murder. Chaos. And most damning of all, an inability to follow orders. I'm here and this is technically Oath of Power. Excellent. Glad you're here, buddy. Who up absorbing the worm? Definitely Michelle. You are nothing. Yeah, I'm just gonna chug some water real quick from my two-liter water bottle. Un momento. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to watching her break. She will not be utterly destroyed. What is useful shall remain. Last plead, Mr. Druent, save her. I don't know, man. All my homies high elves for real, no Zaza left unsmoked. Yeah, my homies are a little bit like that too. Alright. I think it's finish her time. Finish her. My god. Hello, Minthara. Their powers are so much cooler than ours. We did it. We made her better. Well done, sister. For the absolute. We freed her, guys, from the suffering of emotions. <laughs> Is she mindless now? Yeah, I think she gets made into like chop or something. Hey, how you feeling? I serve the absolute. Same. Yeah, that that was pretty messed up. That was that was, that was a pretty messed up move. I'm just gonna yoink their scrolls real quick. This one's useless, but we can sell it. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, let's go... Uh, I think we're going to take a long rest, and then we're going to go beat up uh, Garen Joth. Good old Jerry. Will you be no donating to the ASPCA to uh, even your karma? Probably not. Oh wait, let's go talk to Zarel. Actually, uh, let's get that out of the way. I um, I, I am more likely to donate to uh, you know, local organizations than than the ASPCA, which I believe is only based in a country that I don't live in. Hey gang, just joined. How many tadpoles have we gotten to slurp down so far? We're good on our tadpoles. All the tadpoles. We slurped down three more, and we're feeling we're feeling hot. General Thorm's prayers and I saw your other video made me start a gith run. I'd like to thank you. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Even you, disciples, Rel. I hope it's going well so far. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent but the joke doesn't land so well if you don't use an acronym. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little uh, facetious, the pedantic, goblins. even. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet, show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly. It is. Thanks. Glad to hear it. A blaze of excitement. <clears throat> spreads through your mind. Unsubbing for this Mandara treatment. That's a little fair. Yeah, sorry. And efficient. But I mean, look at how much people like Michelle and enjoyable. Got any more minions to punish? Plenty. But I hoped someone of your talents would be more ambitious. Sorry, don't you make fun of the way I say sorry. In Act 3, will you be mind melding with the astral tadpole or will you she eat it? Wait, what's the difference? Um, I mean, Michelle seems more like an eater if they're the same thing. Stay out and about. Out and about. 
When you eat, the companions can't consume it. We'll eat it then, yeah. Uh, think in thieves can't. That's pretty fun. Yeah, we'll 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 do this. What? Why is this so hard? Okay, all right. We'll we'll go ahead and throw down a, an uh, guidance too. Okay, we're good. We're good. I wasn't expecting the DC for that one to be so high. I guess thinking in thieves can't is pretty tough. Hey, internet moron! Thank you, thank you so very much for the listener to your membership. Much appreciated. It really does help. Thank you. Question, if Mantara had been killed there, would we have gotten a tadpole? I don't think any of the companions, like any of your possible companions, actually drop tadpoles. But I don't know for sure. Uh, how do I get what I want? Reminds me of what we do in the shadows when Colin Robinson becomes a super vampire. I just started watching, or I just finished watching what we do in the shadows. Um... Very good show. I I like that. I like that show. What just happens that I have a price. Mintara does if you kill her in the Gobble Camp. Right, if you kill her in the Gobble Camp, she definitely does. But I don't think she does at this point because now she's a possible companion. Mintara keeps her tadpoles if you recruit her. She has like three powers unlocked. That's pretty cool. Apologies. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is I'm eating Pringles. I do love me some good Pringles, honestly. Go uh, I'm a big Pringle man. I just wish they were a little less Bring expensive. Okay, uh... Understood. Wait, 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 wait. How do we get the, the, the hidden hidden stock dialogue check? Is it this? Him. It was hardly a surprise. We are protected here, but outside the shadow... We go like... Whatever oh, happened, that sounds like a really tough time. And then yes, no doubt. If they you should give us more help. It is some She's suddenly nervous. There you go. Okay. I knew it was one of those dialogue options. I love how she like starts like checking her her corners. Hey, love a love a success. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. I only ever buy them at a discount when they're basically the same price as regular chips. I try not to buy chips in general just because of, I mean. Groceries are very expensive in Canada at, at the current moment in general, and chips are kind of like a luxury item, so I try and avoid buying it. But I, I do honestly really like buying chips. It's a little sad. My favorite is Sun Chips, though. You should be giving me more support. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret. Don't buy food easy. You're right. You're Five dollars for half a bag of air. That's pretty much what it feels the like buying chips, yeah. Deep and Minty drops one for sure? Okay, good to know. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. Why not Zarel romance? She says to you after you betray her, I thought you'd end up as another notch on my bedpost. Yeah, I actually did that the first playthrough I did, I think. I think we did that as, as Bartholomew as well. Okay, um... Right, let's go. Octa to Lantarv, I think is his name. You can actually romance her. I don't think you can, like, fully romance her, but you can, like, flirt with her there. Too expensive to eat in Canada? It's getting there, man. It's getting there. Hello, Lantarv. If you have coin, then show it. 
Israel said you're to share her private stash with me. I love this guy's mustache. Okay, we want the Fistbreaker Helm. Uh, losing out on momentum is a little bit sad, but the extra bonus to spell save DC, very nice. The extra bonus to initiative, also pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and yoink that. Um, and then I don't think we want anything else from him. With this, once again, pretty good shield. I think Adamantine Shield is going to be better for us, though. Just the extra boosts against, like, multi-attacks is real nice. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. When I went to Canada, I went to a mountain in Banff. It was expensive as F because we couldn't leave. You couldn't leave? Like, you were, you were stuck in Banff? Was it, like, the snow? He got a fancy bow. Does he have a fancy bow? Oh yeah, he's got the Titan's Ring bow, but... I don't think any of his others are, are that, that fancy for us, yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna buy some more potions, too. What is the song that goes... Dun, 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 da, da, da. Uh, I, I, that's a good question. <laughs> Imprisoned in Banff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Banff is known for trapping tourists. Okay, I want to buy more potions. Uh, I think an invisibility potion could be a good idea. What is eternal devotion? Oh, neat. Um, I don't think we have enough. We can sell some stuff. Don't need this silver junk. We'll buy one potion of invisibility. It can never hurt to have. How much is the other one? 169? We got that. Nice. An honor. I can think of worse places to get stuck. Yeah, Banff is beautiful. It's uh, it's actually pretty close to where I live. And I really want to go on like a little weekend trip and just like hang out there once the weather's warmer. Uh, it is currently like... Well, we had a blizzard last night. Uh, so it's definitely not going outside weather. Do you have a day, day job aside from being the Baldur's Gate goat? Um, no, actually, this this is my day job. Thanks to you guys' support and some sponsorships and whatnot, I was able to start focusing on this a, a little bit more. Let's take a long rest. And then go fight uh, Jerry. Is it Bonglin time, saving Wolbrin? Uh, no, I don't think we're going to save Wolbrin this run. It seems a little antithetical to, to poor Michelle. Plus, yeah, who doesn't want to let Bongo rot? So you found the seat of the absolute's power. Oh God! What a power it is. I always forget, man. I always forget. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Love that Lyrian added a button for the camp chest. That is pretty nice. Yeah. Catherick Thorm is clearly important. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Smash her past Dream Guardian? Smash. Insta smash. I love her little Karen Bob plus the beard combo. Yeah, that's an insta smash. Okay, I'm just gonna. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. My transformation? My goodness. The absolute knows you carry me with you. I won't let that happen. I, I am the only one. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more. The task ahead is more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smash raw on Catherick's throne in front of all the true souls. My God, take it easy there. Good Lord. <laughs> Okay, 
He looks like the couple at the grocery store that wants to speak the manager, but both of them somehow fused into one body. She really does. Yeah, she really does. Is there any possibility of a solo honor mode run? Yeah, it's, it's definitely on the list. Uh, I'm going to give it a whirl at some point. It's just not terribly high on my list because I... I'm just not interested in the challenge that it represents. Um, oh, whoops. Howdy, fellas. I didn't, I didn't see you there. That's okay. I guess we'll fight these guys first. Why not make the Dream Guardian hot when you've said you'll do the thing in Act 3? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like... When you do the thing in Act 3, they don't look hot anyways. They look like a tentacle man. And even if they did, like, it's all pixels on a screen to me. <laughs> Sorry, I love this stream. Don't ban me. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, okay. The consequences of my actions. Yeah, who could have seen this one coming? We'll just start blowing these guys up. We'll just back up towards these guys. And Sif. Okay, what does FWIW stand for? For what it's worth. Okay, I can work with that, yeah. For what it's worth, you can ask the Imp to look like their dream form for the deed. Oh, good to know. Base streamer doesn't need no pixel waifu. Yeah, unless it's Minthara, in which case I take back everything I said. She's way more than just pixels on a screen. I didn't mean it. Okay, we'll start with by taking out all the goons. Didn't optimize the Dream Guardian SMH. Yeah, that's my bad. Actually, wait, would you be siding with my main man, Emperor, in Act 3? Because he's so irresistible with his Mind Flayer's charm. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I said I would. Said I would. Oh my god, my computer is, is like... Sounds like a freaking jet plane about to take off right now. What is causing this? Is it is it spindleweb fanaticism? Usually this area doesn't bother my computer so much. Ruint is not a coomer. Thank you. That's all I want to be known for. Not being a coomer. It's the burden of guilt. Yeah. Alright, we'll blow up that person. And then just keep walking backwards. Hey, fellas, you want to you wanna help with this? My, my homeboys? My fellow uh, true soul wannabes? Ah. I don't think these guys cast any spells. We might as well try and charm them. We did it. Karn is debuffing your RAM. That's what it feels like. I really need to get a computer upgrade. This is on the list. Once tax season is done and I like figure out how much money I have left over, then I then I will see. I probably should have moved away first before breaking the charm, but it was old just to proc reeling uh so it was actually a strategy not a coomer unsubbed oh man <laughs> wait no i am a coomer i swear that man is charmable i'm assuming these guys are like really susceptible to the charm because they are uh undead and have probably like a negative a bajillion Oh, just a just a neutral roll, huh? Why don't they have uh, advantage against this save? Did they change it? Oh, they might have changed it. Maybe it's not that bad anymore. I mean, either way, um, what you call it is is definitely better. Uh, Psionic backlash. My, my my processing power is getting a little, a little better. I can feel it as we get into the Moonrise area.
He's a lore bard deep gnome. Is it? oh oh sorry, that's uh Doug Rislin. Doug Rislin is a lore bard deep gnome. Wow, we we love Doug Rislin. I didn't see your first message. Uh, I thought you were talking about me. I was like, I don't feel like I'm a lore bard deep gnome. Okay, I don't think these guys are gonna help, which is kind of a tragedy. Uh, we'll just keep blowing up Carnus. All right, fellas, come on. <laughs> Doug Rislin fandom increased, as should be, yeah. Who doesn't love Doug Rislin? I also love how that guy was talking about spiders in the dark. Many eyes, many legs, like, yeah, guys, you're right, he's right here. Oh, sorry, my cat's yelling at me, I'm being too loud. Force tunnel someone off the bridge. I could, but I'd much rather just not use resources on this fight. I don't think I'm going to need to. Yeah, I'll just pass my turn. I don't think they're doing anything to me. What D&D &D class would you all be in here in chat? I think I'd definitely be a bard. I definitely feel like I, I am most kin with bard. I'm a lore bard gnome with 5 charisma who can't sing IRL. That's brutal. Uh, yeah, let's we'll start thinning down the herd. Take out Kansif, mayhaps. We will not take out Kansif. That's okay. What's your AZ? 23. I'll charm Kansif. Got him. Is there truly nothing you can do with that bonus action you always have left? Oh, I could dash away and just like always keep them out of reach. Um, especially for this fight, because these guys are so slow. I just I just really don't think it's necessary, which is why I'm not playing this fight optimally. If I die, then, you know, you guys have permission to make fun of me, but... I really don't think we're going to die. I'm playing Genshin while watching this. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. As long as you're having a good time. Oh, no. I should have played more optimally. We got hit. I'm going to kill this guy now. Beastmaster. Can't pass on a cool animal companion. That would be pretty rad to have IRL. Just like a, a big old bear that like follows you around. Truant, you are the warlock and Chad is patron. Oh god. Oh no, it's a, it's a great old one hive mind pact, I see. Please die, Karnas. I'm begging you. Oh, it was bound to happen. Oh, maybe I should have used resources. It was a big hit. Why was my AC 19? Oh, this is minus four. Bindle web skepticism. Uh, that's fine. No way we die. No way we die. Oh god, imagine being a warlock with a patron who- Oh, we died! <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Whoa, okay, fine. You guys have the rights to yell at me. Okay, I'll play more optimally. My goodness. That was just me being lazy. Make fun of him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you guys are making fun of me. I'm going to cry. That was the first act to death. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Where the hell are we? When was our last save? Oh, God. Yeah, we have the Fistbreaker Helm, at least. Um, I guess I, I'm going to send that to camp. I don't know if I ever equipped that. Oh, that's fine.
Okay, it's just after our, our long rest. Okay. All right, guys. I will. I will simply not die this time. Come get me, boys. You kind of sound like summoning salt. Good lord, that was a strong first hit. Just to check them out, though. I, lo I love summoning salt's voice. <laughs> okay, uh, I also didn't go in with a resistance active, but that's okay. Uh, we'll blow up Sharp Eye Laura. And then just start heading backwards. And you know what? Just to be extra safe, I'll use a big healing potion. Just for you guys. Yeah, I did get a little cocky. Uh, cocky and lazy. Oh, well. Now I gotta redo the fight. That's on me. Oh, well. Now we're just gonna take the appropriate extra dash every turn. And lead them straight into the Moonrise Towers and... Yeah, it'll take a little while, extra each turn, to uh, make sure we don't die. Will you even get XP for this? Usually don't when creatures die to the curse. Yeah, I don't think I will, uh, but at least, you know, they're out of the way. I don't have to, like, bother sneaking around them all the time whenever I head out here. I'm reading a book about Drist. How's that going? I've, uh, I've yet to read any actual D&D books. Uh, like, not rule books, you know? What about bonus action hide? I mean, that'll just break combat every turn. Uh, which is going to be a pain to deal with, so I'm not going to do that. We do get experience for killing them. Okay, there you go. Good to know. Blow them up a little bit. Dash away. Drizzt, Drizzt is a conlang. What is a conlang? Some of the Forgotten Realm books are super old and cringe, so... Why MMV? If that's an acronym, you've, you've lost me. Da-da... Conlang equals constructed language, such as Volapuk and Esperanto. Oh, uh, Drist is a yeah, Drist is a character in D and I mean, like a like in the lore of D and D. There's like a lot of actual books about him. Your mileage may vary. Good to know. Yeah, I was never gonna guess that one. I, I was proud of myself for getting um, for what it's worth, but I was never gonna get your mileage may vary. He's Canadian, so it's your kilometer ridge may vary. <laughs> Please die. I'm begging you, Karnas. Oh man, the Merkle fight's gonna be something else, huh? The Merkle fight's gonna be a nightmare. Merkel has like 400 billion HP. We're gonna be on that fight for a long time, and we need to survive 100 rounds and hope his spawn stops spawning. <laughs> oh, good lord. That's gonna be a doozy of a stream. We might have a whole stream just for that, depending on how long it takes. And Resonance Stone doesn't do anything against him. Maybe I didn't move far enough there. The Psychic Vulnerability Rock doesn't work against him. He's uh, he's an undead. And the Psychic uh, Vulnerability Rock doesn't work on Constructs and Undead, I believe. Oop.
Oh, I didn't move far enough that time for sure. Or I did. Maybe Doug Rislin is related to just very similar names. Just as a Dark Elf. True. But, I mean, Doug Rislin could, he could, he could be like an adopted sibling or something. You never know. More like Dickle, am I right? You're so right, Witch. You're so, so right. What do these guys think of, like, what's happening in here? Like, oh, there's the new recruit just being chased by, like, a giant spider man uh, through the main hall. Did anybody help him? Nah, they seem to got it under control. Okay. Almost dead. We've almost got him. We might get him on the next turn. Probably not. We would need to roll literally max damage. Um, but you never know. I love you, Trent. Thank you, just a hater. I love you, too. Don't die this time. Yeah, we won't. Surely we won't. Resin Stone will also make the Mind Flayer in the Merkle fight much harder. Yeah, it will. We'll probably just drop it and then, like, pick it up after the fight. Okay, we did not roll max damage. We're gonna we're gonna start heading up the stairs then. Even your haters love you. Yeah, it's kind of impressive, huh? Carnus is yeah, Carnus is undead, so tec technically alive. Okay, buddy, this time for sure. We need ten damage. We got eight damage. Ten is the average, by the way, in case y'all were curious. Why doesn't Carnage dash? I don't think any of the undead can dash. I just think it's like an action that they have removed. Hard enough to keep that many legs under your control when you're fully alive. Yeah, it's probably d dang near impossible for a Mal. Oh no, the other guy's de -aggroed. Well, it counts as stealing if I loot Karnas. Good lord. These people, whatever. You're really just gonna let, like, the Shadow Cursed Undead just, like, hang out in the entrance hall, fellas? Actually crazy how Karnas is a humanoid normally. Really? He's not a monstrosity? He's a humanoid? I'll just blow up that guy. Undead don't really have consciousnesses, so they always walk at the same speed. Yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Sure. The absolute welcomes all. You're so right. I thought the, like, summoned zombies and skeletons could dash. Yeah, sorry, when I said all the undead, I mean, like, all the shadow cursed undead can't dash. I'm... He was a humanoid until patch 6. Interesting. Does that mean he's no longer a humanoid? Okay, just don't loot these guys. They're okay with me blowing up their minds in the lobby, but I can't, you know, check to see if they've got a nice dagger on them. He's a monstrosity now. Okay, that seems more fitting. Good here, we can loot this guy. They didn't like this guy nearly as much, I guess. Okay, let's go bully Garen. Jaren Goth. What's our XP situation? Uh, it's okay. Like, kind of halfway to level 7. I am hoping to be, like, a pretty high level by the time we take on Merkel. Because we're going to need, like, a bajillion... Vulnerable to Psychic. Love that. Um, we're going to need a bajillion spell slots to be able to last that long. Uh, we, we are probably going to use the, like, uh, spell slot elixirs. These things. 
give us some bonus ones. Uh, before we fight Jerry, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick bathroom break. I will be right back. I'm going to play a little tune for you guys real quick. Uh, a little jig, if you will. Uh, where's, where's my high? That's the screenshot button. There you go. Hold up. Okay. Uno momento. Okay, we are back. I've awoken my gremlin. She's roaming the house now. So, if she shows up, I'll, I'll show her off on stream. Oh my goodness. I should probably get rid of my, my be right back. Oh, there you go. Okay. What are you, what is your favorite songs just in general? Uh, I really like Touch by Daft Punk. I'm a big fan of Achilles Come Down by Gang of Youths. Uh, I like um, I like uh, a lot of a lot of music, a whole lot of music. The wires must be feasted upon. I have no doubt they will be. I um guys, I forgot to to take my my. Uh, my gold out. I'm gonna die again. What do you require? Mmm, here's a gold. Ruin, do you want to come to EDC Vegas? I don't know what EDC stands for in that context. But uh, Vegas sounds cool, yeah. Quick music recommendation, the debut album of The Last Dinner Party. I'll, I'll check it out, thank you. How much do you want exactly? Alright, All there you go. That's a quick way to get your gold off you, huh? I don't need it. I'm just gonna take it off your corpse. Can I still fight you after?
Well, I was hoping I would at least get to do the uh, the check. Uh, to get her to, to, to like, you know, unalive herself, but that's okay. Um, we will use a charm here because there's no spells that are really going to be happening. We're so good at charming people. Okay, so the plan for this fight is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to... Wait, did she eat my gold? Am I not getting that back? Oh, no. I should have thought that through a little bit better. <laughs> um, that's okay. Whatever. I don't think I had a lot of gold on me anyways. I think I had like two or something. <laughs> uh, we're just going to head up to the roof. Blow up the, the, the little heads along the way. And... Okay... I think I'm gonna. It's time for me to show off my little my little cat. Um, she's screaming at me. She's at my feet. So we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break from from the fight. Baby, she just hiccuped. Here's my little baby cat. Oh, the lighting is horrible for some reason. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe because it's all like just white outside. My little baby cat. Little baby cat. Who's a little baby? You are. She's four months old, and she's a little baby cat. And it is illegal how small she is, and how much of a baby she is. Yes, isn't it? Hold up. Oh, you want to leave, Theo? She just wants to hang out for a second, but I really want to show her off. Look at her. Look at that baby. My god, it's unreal. Mwah, little baby cat. Hey, thank you, Bunny Warren, for the five gifted subs or memberships. Sorry. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's that's an extra toy for Theodosia, that is. Oh, bye. I've given her too much attention now. She is done. There's my there's my little baby cat. Imagine being four months old. Yeah, it's unreal. Oh, she's screaming again. Oh, no. I switched my scene. Oh, don't look. Okay. All right. We're back in the game. Matthew with the two. Canadians are born with them. Hey, what is this Canadian slander? Uh, okay, I think we're just going to start by... Misty stepping up onto the roof. Uh, so that we don't trigger, like, attacks of opportunity. We could disengage. Yeah, let's just disengage and go up to the roof. No need to make this complicated. We will disengage. Resistance. Concentrated blasts. We'll go after regret. All my homies hate regret. And then we'll just head up onto the roof. Uh, and yeah, man, maybe I should have missy stepped anyways, just to get a little bit more distance, get up, get up to the edge. Can we hear the cat? Um, she, she's, she's screaming pretty loud, um, but she's in the bathroom right now. I think I, I have the uh, shower curtains drawn and I think she wants to be inside the bathtub and she doesn't know how to get around the shower curtains. So she's a little upset about that. Any tips for Raphael's fight? Um... I mean, if you're okay with cheesing the fight, it's always a viable option to just lure him out of the room and then use Arcane Lock and shut the door while he's out of the room and you're in the room and then just blow up all the pillars and heal up and get ready and everything. Slow. Oh, no. That's real bad. That's... And silenced. Good lord. We can't be failing these saves, Michelle. We have such high bonuses to the wisdom, at least. Okay, looking looking rough for Michelle. We can't use reactions. We're slowed. We're silenced. Uh, things are things are looking a little bit rough for Michelle. Uh, so I think the play here is going to be dash, disengage, heal, go to the edge of the roof. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to dash, 
Disengage. Come on, you can do it, Michelle. You can do it. Oh, we don't get a heal. Yeah, slow. Of course, of course. Okay, well, that was a pretty big misplay. Um, we might die here then. We'll see. Failing these saves is, is gonna do us in. I think we're dead here, yeah. We'll charm her. I'm gonna convince myself to go to bed, so maybe I'll be in the Discord. Buenas noches. Sleep well. Arcane Lockstrat is not cheese's tactics. True. Give us the tattoo walkthrough. I, I will probably do that at some point. Uh, I, I do want to get more tats eventually. Yeah. Okay, as long as we don't die to this guy, we should be good. Um, no longer silenced. So I think the play is just a pretty classic knock Jerry off the roof strat. We could go for a repulsor. It's a strength save. How strong is Jerry? Not very. It's a pretty good chance. We could do this uh, and then also damage all these other guys at the same time. But if this fails... Okay, if this fails, we just... These are all AoEs. They're not going to get blocked by Sanctuary. So if this fails, we just force tunnel and then heal up a bunch, I think. So let's just do this. I believe... Hey, there you go. Okay, there's, there's Jerry uh, out of the fight for, for hopefully quite a while. And also that guy, apparently. Uh, and then we're going to start heading this way and heal up. Um, I think... Okay, we're poisoned right now. That makes me sad. Uh, although it doesn't matter, actually, so it doesn't make me that sad. Uh, we're going to heal. Healing is always happening. Do I want to use another Illithid power? Not really. I think I would rather use resistance to boost our saving throws and also get 8 temp HP. So we're going to heal. Resistance. And we're just going to start walking this way to hopefully make the further heads have to dash to get to us. And also get that guy reeling. You look good with tats in my opinion. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That is very appreciated. Um, But yeah, I do want to get some more tats. Um, I, so my whole theme right now, I got like flowers and plants and bugs and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm all, all of this stuff is for people who are important to me. I, I've, you know, asked them like, hey, what's your favorite flower? And then I've been like, yeah, that's going on my arm. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so next up, I have I have a friend who said he really liked cherry blossoms. Uh, so I'm going to throw that on my um, on my shoulder. Uh, and I'm going to have it be like an actual tree branches type thing. And then I'm going to have that mix into a chest piece that I have where I really want an elk skull on my pack uh, with like wooden antlers, like tree branch antlers. I think that would be really rad. With, like, flowers pouring out of it, you know? I'm into that vibe. So that is future plans. Okay, let's blow this guy up. Keep walking this way. Heal up. More resistance. Confirmed Truant is a cutie patootie. Aw, oh, shucks. It's a lot of damage from these guys. And we really, like, can't avoid it. Yeah, that's rough, man. It's okay. It's okay. They don't attack when Sanctuary is going? Really? Wait, is, are these not targeted abilities? I thought they were A or sorry, are these AoE? Not AoEs? I really thought they were. Nearby foes. 
Interesting. Maybe they wouldn't anyways. Okay, I'll keep that in mind if we if we need to. Skull with flowers out of the eye sockets and such. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Uh, I think from here this fight is pretty stable though. We're just gonna start blasting the lowest health people. And I'll use a, a little baby healing pot just to be sure. And we'll keep walking away in case uh, the further ones have to dash to get to us. Like that, yeah. I can draw you a tattoo if you wanted. I'll keep that in mind. No promises, though. Getting a tattoo is like a big deal. And I, I have a tattoo artist who I really trust. Um, I am going to also get a butterfly tattoo. I'm going to throw a butterfly somewhere in my in my arm. Mixed in with all the other plants and bugs. Uh, and me and a buddy are going to get a, a matching butterfly tattoo. Which I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, okay, we're going to blow up this guy. Wow. 12 with vulnerability. What a rude dude. Um, we'll just start doubling back this way. We'll dash. How come the visage of cowardice isn't fleeing? It's a little rude, yeah. Now, I want to get a tattoo. Any suggestions? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I mean, okay, so there's two categories of getting tattoos. There's, I just got this because I thought it looked cool. In which case, I would recommend just start following, like, artists on Instagram and taking a look at their flash artworks and stuff. And if you see one, then, then be like, hit them up and be like, I want that on my body, please. And thank you. Um, and then there's... Uh, I want it because it's meaningful. Which, if you're going for that... Oh, no. What, what, did you guys see that, like, massive dip there? Was Michelle about to, like, phase through the ground? That scared me. I, like, maybe I should have let that play out just to see what would have happened. Um, but yeah, if you want it to be, like, meaningful, uh, that one's a lot harder to recommend how to, how to go about approaching that. Because um, it really does just have to be something that's meaningful to you. Uh... For me, it's just, like, I really like flowers and plants and stuff, and I just made it meaningful by asking people what what they like. So, you know, maybe if you like, um, if you want to, like, commemorate certain people and you're, like, really into music, maybe you do, like, audio waves or something, you know? I don't know. Your SSN street you grew up on and mother's maiden name. Yeah, that's a good one. Good tattoo. Plan on drawing all my own tattoos. I want like sort of a cohesive bodysuit. That would be really cool. Yeah. In terms of meaningful tattoos, I definitely do a lot of research because I've heard a, a ton of horror stories about people who got tattoos and didn't research meaning enough. Oh yeah, that's always a good call too. Uh, I used to work with a girl who had, like, your classic, like, Chinese characters tattooed on her, and she got them with the intention of them meaning one thing, and then they ended up meaning another. Like, either way, I don't think it was really bad meaning that she ended up getting. Like, she told me what it was. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. Um, but it was pretty okay. It just wasn't what she meant for it to be. Uh, but she was okay with it, so it worked out. Hey, how's it going? Good old Elamunzi. Alright, let's go blow up uh, Jerry. I'm coming for you, Jerry. I'll let you come to me, actually. Oh, okay. Or not. Boop. Alright. Do I get my gold back? Uh, is that just in your belly? Is that gone for good? Maybe that was my gold? That seems like a really weird number for her to just have on her otherwise. Alright, let's get us some gold. Uh, that was a pretty easy Jerry fight, by the way. That was a good time. Uh, that went pretty well. 
I don't think I died. Uh, my brain kind of like turned off during that fight. No, I definitely didn't die. Yeah, so that was a good fight. <laughs> Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Yeah, you got your gold back. Okay, cool. Good to know. Got me thinking of the meme, uh, mom getting a tattoo, what should I get? Tattoos are for meaningful and the dude tattoos the neck to text room. Oh yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, like the mom's like, it has to be something meaningful, meaningful. Don't just get anything random. And then the guy tattoos that text box on him. Like damage makes this fight very easy. It really does. Yeah. Gang of Youths mentioned. Yeah, I'm a little. You're a little far behind on the stream there, but Gang of Youths was mentioned. Uh, there's. Uh, there's, loot back there. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. It just tells us what's in here. Is there any spell scrolls in here? Doesn't look like it. One gold, let's go. You love to see it. Okay, let's, let's pop this open. Oop. Um, is there anything else up here worth looting? I'm pretty sure there is. So we'll loot this stuff and then go down. Ah. Uh. Can I break this? Probably not, huh? And it is vulnerable to slashing. That's just oh, because I'm doing bludgeoning, huh? That'll do. That'll do it. I love the narrator's voice so much. Very popular opinion. <laughs> Lukewarm take. Okay, but it's yeah, it's valid. You know, she does have a phenomenal voice. They they casted her for a reason. Excuse me, uh, Michelle. Where are you going? Why can't... Oh, okay, there you go. It just, like, wasn't letting me click on the chest. Got that. Another way to get Arcane Acuity. That's pretty cool. Not for us, but I do love Arcane Acuity. It is an insanely powerful condition. Hey, Hyena here. That's actually really nice. I have never noticed this safe door before, and apparently Michelle also failed a perception check. Why does that candle keep going out? Oh, shadow curse. Doi. <laughs> oh no, it's DC 30. Oh god, alright. Um, We'll give it one try. We'll see how lucky Michelle is. Not that lucky. My first ever loaf of gluten-free bread is done and it's really good. Congratulations, you did it. There's nothing in there. Someone locked themselves in trying to get out of the curse. Oh, that's that's upsetting. Okay, let's go get that other loot. There's a paper with the password next to the vault. Eh, if there's nothing in there, that's okay. Why can't I reach the destination? What is happening here? Did the, why did the floor rebuild itself? There you go. Okay. Uh, let's go... Can I not press the button? Good lord. It's right there, I can see it. Uh, let's do... Oh, I probably should have gone to the Gauntlet of Shard, gotten the Callous Glow Ring, and then done all of the, uh... All of the little mini-bosses, just for the, the, the flow of the video once again. 
But maybe we should just go get the Kyle's Glow Ring now just to speed up some of the other fights because they will take quite a while. Imagine if I grab a tattoo in Elvish or Gith. That would be pretty sick. What does Gith even look like? With the power of editing, no one needs to know. I like to d do it in, in order, especially because I think we might hit level 7 soon. Um, yeah, it's okay. We'll go get the Kyle's Glow Ring. It shan't be too hard for us. This is the wrong way. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. I gotta go up. Also, whoever's here in the stream before we start the final sequence, please remind me to do this. Oh, there's people up here. Hold up. I am going to need the boost to the saves to not be frightened. There's a lot of people up here. My goodness. Where were you guys when Karnas needed your help? Where were you when Karnas fell? We should probably... Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you really breaking my concentration like that? I don't think any of these guys are going to cast spells, so we might as well try and charm some people. He's in love with me. He's also got six reeling. How did he get reeling so much? Uh, okay. Resisto. Do a little resisto. Uh, I think I want to take out the shadows first anyways, so we're just gonna, gonna victimize this man. And we'll start heading... Down that way. There's light here, apparently. There's no light there. Does the Gith Ring that does 1d4 extra damage while concentration apply to concentrated blasts? No, only weapon attacks, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll charm one of these guys. Just so I don't have to deal with the reaction popping up constantly. He just proclaimed his love for you, and now you're gonna kill him. He he didn't do it good enough. He didn't buy his roses. Yeah, we'll blow up this man. We're getting really close to being able being able to one shot these guys with these damage rolls. At least we know for sure they're going down on our next uh, blast. <laughs> Ruin breaks my concentration. Oh, you know it, witchy. Ma stilna forjun in Yeri is gith for may the comet blaze our path forward. So that would be cool. That would be pretty cool. I received the gift. I missed when it happened, but thank you, kind stranger. You did. Yeah, I think that must have been uh, that must have been from Bunny. That was a lot of damage. Or, no, it was just damage numbers overlapping. Theo breaks my concentration. My cat or the or, or the individual in our in our Discord server. Want to hop in here and say I watched the Act 1 video. Very well edited. Actually thinking about using that as my uh actually thinking about using that as my range for my Shadow Monk using Warlock Friends Cantrip for the concentration. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I mean, the range on it is a little bad. Uh, and it does prevent you from concentrating on better spells, like Blur or Protection from Evil and Good. So that is something to keep in mind. But I wish you the best of luck. Alright, so I'm gonna lure him back to Moonrise again, just because we know there's a lot of room to kite him around. He's flirting back, y'all. It was bound to happen eventually. You're going to use the Resonance Stone for the vulnerability to Psychic it gives to nearby characters? That's the plan, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, that's one more shadow down. My computer starts to make, like, the overheating noise, like, right here, this area, every time. I don't know what it is about it. Jockath is one of my favorites. It means asshole. How do you know so much gith? That's wild. Okay, we'll do this. Fine. Maybe I should have charmed them. And then we'll blow this dude up. Well, when I say blow up, I mean do like a fraction of their, their health as damage. I bet the cat is even younger. Yeah, the cat is four months old. She's a little baby. The internet literally exists, Mr. Streamer. Everyone knows everything. I'm gonna need to see proof of this. Yeah, uh-oh. I got the order wrong. I'll charm you. Blow him a little kiss. Alright, fellas. How are you feeling about these Shadow Cursed Undeads? They're Harpers, so they were never your allies in the first place. No, they're, they're still okay. Anyone else got the issue where the game turns into a slideshow? Thankfully, I don't have that. I think that this shadow just, like, stayed back there. So I think we might be cutting to black for a while. Unfortunately. Alright, fellas, come get me. It's the frame steel aura. Yeah, it's just there. It just never follows. Oh, there it is. Just a little slow. Do a little resisto. Do a little boop. Do a little, um... I forgot to get my order right again. And that guy maybe just hit me. Hard to say. Nope. Oh, please. Why won't you guys help? There's just so many tanky boys in this act. I was watching a video. It said that charm and similar other powers use your spellcasting mod if you're a class who spellcasts. Is that true? It is. Yes. Um, so it uses... Yeah, it uses your spellcasting mod of the most recent spellcasting class that you specced into. Um... For example, uh, for me, the most recent spellcasting class that I specced into was uh, Cleric. So my spellcasting, my Ilfid save DC is based off of my Wisdom mod. If I was to become a wizard, it would then be based off of Intelligence. And this is based off of uh, the most recent class that you have become, not the most recent level you have taken in which class. So if I go cleric level one wizard level two and then cleric level one or and then another level in cleric it won't go back to being wisdom it'll stay as intelligence since wizard is my newest spellcasting class if that makes sense hopefully that is well explained okay i'm gonna blow up that person like how the Greeks called any non-Greek barbarians. Yeah, the Greeks were known for that. Oh. What the heck? Why did it just, like, flash to the shadow? Did we really need, like, shadow POV on that charm? <laughs> as long as y'all are in the server, you're my rastils. Thank you. I'm assuming. I got the order wrong again. Okay, please don't hit me. Ah, it was bound to happen at some point. POV the shadow. Something just happened. Yeah, why, why did we really need that? That's good to know for builds. The wizard and cleric dips are a little less attractive for the MC since so far I only use tadpoles on myself. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. Oh, 
Oh no. The door is in the way? Okay, there you go. Oh, had to move to the other side of the door. Okay, we're doing it, gang. We're doing it. Just a few left. Truant must be the most beautiful man on the world. I, I, I don't think so. Have you seen Idris Elba? Have you seen Henry Cavill? Hi, I just finished work, but I can watch for a bit. Hey, thanks for being here. Much appreciated. It's so funny how no one cares about the shadows. Yeah, it's kind of unreal. Okay, we're going to get the order right this time. We're going to provoke an attack of opportunity. We'll take exactly 8 damage. And then we'll use our cantrip to get our 8 temp HP back. That's called thinking with portals. Shadow's got that pick me energy we don't vibe for. Uh, yeah. I'm also wondering why these guys are able to dash. The other Shadow Crystal Undead weren't. Maybe it was just a bug. I don't know. Seems like mobility would be good for when you get swarmed. Are you? Oh, I, I got the order wrong. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for getting it right this turn. Oh, man. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll just, I'll just disengage. Take the L. Uh, if you're talking about the mobile feet, it really wouldn't be that great. Like, we get an extra 10 feet of movement, sure. Or 3 meters. Uh, but... Uh, Concentrated Blast doesn't trigger the sluggardly condition. So, they're always making attacks of opportunity against us. I think by the end of the playthrough, there won't be anything you don't know about tadpoles in this game. I hope so. That's part of why what I what what I really enjoy about doing these runs is that all my future runs become like a little bit easier because I just know more about the game. Granted, I'll probably forget by the time that I use tadpoles again, since my regular challenges don't allow them. I was really hoping they'd go the other way. Genuine question, but have you planned for Raphael? Also, could you perchance fight answer answer in one of your future videos? I. I might do answer this go around. I don't know. I don't really like it's just not an interesting fight to me. It's just a, a damage sponge that has like one attack that doesn't even really do a lot of damage. Uh, but I might do it this run. We'll see. As for Raphael, uh, I've thought about it a little bit. Um, I don't think it'll be too different of a fight than just from usual. Uh, we'll do our best to blow up the pillars because they're objects. We're, we're allowed to blow up objects. Um, I might honestly just lure Raphael out of the room using Sanctuary and then lock the door and then destroy all the pillars and then just whittle down Raphael and his goons bit by bit. Probably use uh, Stage Fright. Um, and then... Yeah, we always have Displacer Beast if we need to fall back on that. But I'm, I'm not too stressed about Raphael. You know what? It's fine. We're not going to die at this point. Are Illithid powers OB? Because I've never used them before. Uh, I mean, they're definitely very strong. Uh, I don't know if I'd go so far as OP, but they... They definitely increase the power level of your characters. Like, they're just free power. What did I miss in Act 2? Uh, we haven't done a ton so far. We have... Uh, let's see, what have we done? My goodness. We did, we did the last light in fight on the side of the bad guys. Uh, so the last light in is no more. Uh, and then we came to Moonrise and we got the last of our Illithid powers. So we're we're all decked out now. Uh, we fought Jiren Jothorm. Uh, so she's dealt with. No longer have to deal with her. We're just going to head to the... Uh, the mausoleum after this get our callous glow ring and then we're gonna do the other thorns uh probably saving the big man for last and then that might just be today's stream we might do your gear too depending on how much time we have we'll see we'll see i think fly and call the weak are insane for any character yeah they, they definitely are very powerful All right, I'm going to head to bed. Have a nice stream. I'm glad I caught a little bit of it today. Yeah, I'm glad you caught a little bit of it today too, Leo. Thanks for being here. Have a good sleep. Yeah, 
let's blow that guy up. I'm playing Terraria at the moment. I want to fight Plantera. Blood Moon Rises, Blood Moon Ends, Solar Eclipse Stars, Solar Eclipse Ends, Blood Moon Stars. My goodness. No luck, huh? Seven hour stream. That's what they usually tend to be. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not feeling like the, the best today. I don't know. My, my, I woke up with a little bit of a tickle in my throat, so I hope I'm not getting anything serious. So I might take it a little bit easier. Uh, might do a little bit of a shorter stream. That way I can continue to stream in coming days. I don't know why I moved up here. Okay, can I loot these guys? No, it still counts as stealing. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Enjoy your corpses. Don't forget to drink. So true. I'm gonna drink from my 2 liter agua bottle. Ooh, that was some good agua. <clears throat> My goodness. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to Roa Moonglow some more. Now we got some more money, we could buy some more healing potions. I love healing potions. And we're here. What's your favorite boss fight in Baldur's Gate 3? That's a tough one. Favorite boss fight? I really like Saravok. I think that's a pretty cool fight. There's your healing potions. I like what they were going for with Gortash. I don't know if it landed very well. I think he needs to have like a little bit more HP to make his like phases and traps more meaningful. But I feel that can be said about a lot of bosses. We'll take another potion of invisibility. We'll take one more, and then we should hopefully be good on those. I don't. Like, we don't really use a lot of them, anyways. Uh, take one of these just in case. Take one of these just in case. Yeah. An order. So, what did I want the knock scroll for again? Oh yeah, for the vault door. That's what I wanted it for, because I don't trust my lockpick. We'll buy more lockpicks while we're here, too, actually, before I forget. You seek arms. I what do you have on offer? I just sell something? What, what was that noise? Oh, okay, you don't have thieves' tools. I fooled myself. My goodness. How did you get Grim Armor when it's immune to psychic and you can't move levers with psychic? I just pulled the levers in general. Uh, I mean, we, we, Michelle has no problem interacting with objects, and there's just object interactions. We just didn't do anything else to Grim. Tried to stage fight him. Didn't work. I'm surprised you never grabbed the Darkfire Shortbow. Uh, Damon is dead, so no Darkfire Shortbow for me, but I would if I could. Such are the woes of playing an evil character. You just get significantly worse loot all the time. An order. It is a short bow, though. Just to clarify. I heard that almost slip. Yeah, I uh, with Damon here and then Damon in the game, it's it's too much, you know. Out of all the Chosen, Catherick slash Merkel really feels like you're fighting a Chosen of God, while the others really rely on gimmicks and are less theatrical. Yeah, def Merkel definitely has the most impact, for sure. Okay. Uh, now we will head to the mausoleum. And then we'll do... Uh, we'll do the Doctor, the good Doctor, the bad Doctor. Uh, and then we'll do Thizabald. Saw your video last night. Cool to hop in here. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed the video. My goodness. What an auspicious spot. I wonder if you could meet an NPC here at some point. Probably not. That would be ridiculous. God, I miss Dark Vision so much. Yeah?
grab the armor of Agatha's robe here to sell to. Or is that... Yeah, that's here. And two gold. What's the game plan for the dock? I haven't really thought about it that much. Um, I might just... Uh, I might just blow up his nurses slowly and then loot their corpses so they have nothing to give him when they get revived um or i might just go after the doctor himself uh we'll see we'll see might be a tough fight though our hero thought but of treasure ahead did not consider yeah the haste on the sherpa would break on the concentrated blast which is obviously pretty bad but i mean the resistances would be nice just to hang on to a new grave dug which she herself fed who is your fave of the siblings um fight wise or character wise if we're talking fight wise probably jaren goth character wise malice the doctor don't tell me you're worried Maybe about me Kazador is a pretty interesting fight too. I, uh, I I definitely like the Kazador fight. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. The Raphael fight, obviously an amazing fight too. I can handle myself, Raphael. <laughs> Intrepid as ever. Bye bye, it's broccoli it bob time. Have a good broccoli bob time. You from entering, but I can set the scene, as it were, prepare you. For your role. Who's your favorite NPC? Volo. I'm a big Volo fan. Fine. Paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still. Mired in the After I finished Merkel, I was like, why are these mercs trying to intimidate me? I just killed a god, you fool. I think it was a big miss by having like the gith wait for you at the exit to Act 3. Um, because it really does feel very strange to to have fight Merkel and then you like go to the, the little road to Baldur's Gate and then you just have like four regular dudes just hanging out there that try and kill you. Like it's just, it just like almost messes up the climax, you know? We got favorable beginnings. I wonder if this is going to work again in the future. Is there any other role we even need to make against him? 29 though, God. There is a creature that Five, sorry, my bad. Five. <laughs> a creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. I feel like Orin is better fight if you're playing Dark Urge. Custom character, not so much. Yeah, I feel like Orin's... Uh, I mean, the impact of Orin and Gortash is just made way better if you're playing Dark Urge in general. It is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, if you don't know what's coming, that gift fight can be tough. Oh, it's definitely a tough fight. I just don't action. think that it's like, um, I don't just don't feel like it lands like in the context of the story. Like everything in Act Two leads up to the uh, to the Merkel fight, like somebody else was saying earlier. And then you have the Merkel fight, and it's not really the last fight of the of the act, because you just have five like regular dudes who you've never met before afterwards. Should it remain trapped in the dark, or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. It definitely feels like Merkel should be the last fight. I always knew you're a coward at heart. No, we'll do this one. <laughs> It pollutes the entry to the astral prism. Yeah, but I mean, so does the other guys who like jump you. It's preparing you for the disappointment of Act Three. Brutal. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. He, he, he you could tell he was so hyped to say that line. He, he loved that. Uh, okay, I also, uh, totally forgot to get the Nox scroll. Okay, we'll, we'll take a little bit of a detour later. Let's grab that, that little waypoint. Did I discover it? 
There you go. There's my waypoint discover notification. Do I have a shovel? I do, thank god. Hey, dragon friends, how's it going? I've always heard it referred to as the Githyanki intermission, kind of separate from Act 2 and 3. It would feel weird to never encounter Gith in Act 2, then suddenly be attacked by them in Act 3. I don't think it would feel that strange. Like, yeah, I don't know. It might just be like a like a preference thing. I don't know. I, I definitely feel like having a fight after Merkel lessens the impact of Merkel. At least in Act 2, you know? I don't know why I'm looking around. I know where I'm going. That's the wrong button. It's right, left, uh, the big one. I'm pretty sure it's right, left, the big one. Not left, right, the big one. Yeah. I always do that. Every time. Right, left, big one. I think Viconia's fight is really underrated. I... Yeah, I mean, Viconia's fight's just, like, a whole lot of dudes. And at that point, you're pretty much always, like, equipped to take on just a whole lot of dudes. I kind of like the little gimmicks in fights. Like, Viconia has, like, a little gimmick with the mapping of the heart form, which is kind of cool. But I don't, I don't think her gimmick is prominent enough to be, to really catch my attention, you know? It was like they wanted to get a gith fight in somewhere before Act 3 and there was nowhere else. Too much earlier and you'd be a low level. Yeah, I kind of... I guess it does kind of feel that way. Okay. We'll head downstairs. The darkness spam is pretty tedious too, yeah. Especially if you don't have a way to deal with uh, blindness. Why is Mage Hand bonus action strong? Uh, yeah, I've never really used Mage Hand in fights either. You're asking the wrong guy here. <laughs> Let's hope for good elevator RNG. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing we gotta be concerned about, huh? The elevator killed three quarters of my characters in my honor run. Oh, you're asking somebody else. Well, that'll that'll do it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, the, the elevator is uh, is a real honor mode run killer. Is the loot even good in these things? Not really. Uh, so we're gonna do the cloaker fight. Uh, and then we're gonna head over to do the Balthazar fight. Just because the Balthazar fight is gonna be a complete nightmare. Uh, let me take a look at what spells I've got. Uh, yeah, the Balthazar fight's gonna be like a complete nightmare. Uh, since we can't actually stop more from spawning, we just have to kill them all as they spawn. And we're not going to be doing that terribly fast. Uh, and if we kill the cloaker, we get some reinforcements from the other room. So, start by doing this. Uh, yeah. And then we're just going to go in, I guess. We don't have a lot of prep to do. But either way, we'll start with the cloaker fight. Have you gotten the Surgeon's XP yet? Uh, no. We're gonna get the Cow's Glow Ring, and then we're gonna go back, and we're gonna do the other, uh, the remaining two Thorm siblings. Okay. Do a little quick save here. Get a little resistance going. 
Um, well, I want to do a short rest after this. Could stage fright it. Field of Thralls. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just get by with uh, Concentrated Blast. Am I going to be able to spot these guys? This guy, I guess. Just one dude who multiplies. No, we are not. Do I have an elixir of vigilance? I do. I'm just going to use it. I don't want to get surprised. The next stream is going to be entirely Merkel, isn't it? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, it depends on how far we can get into this stream. But uh, we also need to yeah go back and do the other Thorm siblings, and that's probably going to take a, a long time. Okay, um, my resistance ran out. Hold up, hold up, give me a second. I gotta prep. When is next stream tomorrow? Manana. As assuming that my throat holds up. Which, I, I'm sure it will. 136 hit points. Buckle up, buttercups. We're gonna be here a minute. That's 11 down. Do I want to use any other bonus actions? We could... We could Perilous Stakes it. That would be next turn, though, because we already wasted this turn. Yeah, screw it. We'll do that next turn. I don't know if dashing anywhere does something. This is such a weird fight. Like, what are these things doing here? Yeah, th this is a kind of a random fight, too. Alright, bye, Phantasm. Oh, there goes the other phantasm. What is happening here, man? <laughs> what the hickety heck? Oh no, they can moan too! Do these phantasms actually have 77 HP? They're immune to psychic anyways, so we're not doing anything to them. Um, Yeah, okay, we'll use perilous stakes on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't hit us. That would be a bummer if he hit us, though. It's fine. We will perilous stakes. We'll use a Concentrated Blast, start blowing him up, 24 points of damage, you'll love to see that. And then just drop another resistance. And we don't really have much of a say in the matter, matter other than just kind of standing under it. How many Phantasms does a boy need? Enough of you. <sighs> it's a moan off, yeah. Cloakers do be chilling in the Underdark and such, so it makes some amount of sense. They could have just put any other classic D&D monster here, though. Yeah, I feel like this was just, they kind of like wanted a, a classic D&D monster somewhere here, which is okay. I don't really mind that. We'll do this. We'll drop a little... stage fright for the Cloaker. Is that hitting him? That is, yeah. That's his little circle. Get a, get a wee resistance going on ourselves, and then hopefully the cloaker starts dying real quick. I'm not gonna charm him. I want him to attack me more. Um, he's just leaving. I, I, th I was hoping he had like some sort of multi-attack he was gonna whip out. Oh no, we got frightened! Me when I fail a saving throw, instantly going into the log. Not one. We just we we unbecame frightened. No, we rolled another nat one against it. How? <laughs> it's two nat ones. Michelle's spooked, man. Okay. Don't do that before you blast. It's kind of a waste. Can we hit it from here? We can. Thank goodness. Okay, well, at least we get our temp HP back, 
and we'll just keep sitting here, I guess. Um, might be worth healing up to get the bless. Should be fine. This Cloaker's favorite anime is Naruto, and it's because he relates to having no friends. Brutal. <laughs> Ah, he hit us with the multi attack. Okay, we'll, we'll throw the charm on him now. Uh, I left for a minute. What happened? We really haven't done that much. I think since I last saw your message, just headed in here and uh, starting the cloaker fight so we can do the Balthazar fight. Uh, the Balthazar fight's probably gonna take us quite a while. And then after the Balthazar fight, we'll get the Cos Glow Ring, and then we'll go back and we'll do the other. Uh, Storms. Okay, no more vulnerability on this guy, which is a bit of a bummer, but what's a boy to do? Eight damage is what, is it, what a boy is to do. Throw down our resistance. And we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just pass our turn. No need to make it more complicated than that. Aw, oh, man. We got frightened again. At least being frightened doesn't really do much to us. Because we don't make attacks. And we're pretty okay just standing in one spot. Against a fight like this, at least. Why do you have four turns of bleeding? Does the cloaker apply that much? I guess so, yeah. Okay, our armor prevents it. Okay, we got him next turn. Ow, ow. Okay, we'll, we'll charm him. He doesn't do anything else. At least you are not a monk. Yeah, that would be real bad. Come on, get, get your moans out of the way. Michelle's moans are so much more powerful. Check this out. Hear that? Uh -huh. Boom. Done. That's how you moan. That's what's up, Bozo. Okay, we'll hit him with the old short rest. She, like, moaned when she was doing that, too. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was definitely a moan in there somewhere. I'm so bad at this game, I always die in battles. No worries, it's, it's got a big learning curve. Definitely like, some unique types of strategy you gotta have for this game. This one's for Steve Irwin. I don't think Steve Irwin would like us killing that guy, but... Hey, there you go. That's a success. Easy peasy. Uh, I'll try and use Thieves' tools to get into the vaults, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. We'll, we'll probably have to go get that knock scroll. Might just be the whole stream trying to get into that room. The whole rest of the stream. Wasn't expecting the moan. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to resist, you know? I hear Michelle doing it, and I'm like, that sounds like fun. F5, you're so right. F5's in the chat. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, and there's an autosave, too. Should I use the Mind Flayer Parasites? There's no reason not to. There's no, like, real... Uh, punishment for doing it. ADHD mimicry. Is that an ADHD thing? Uh-oh. I mimic my phone all the time. When it goes meep meep, I go meep meep. So, somebody told me that if you use this altar, then it, like, that's what reveals the, um, the pathway in the... Uh, in the Faith Leap trial, which is pretty cool. Good to know. I'm not going to use it, because I we're done praying to gods. <laughs> That's why. We're a cleric who's done. Uh, I'm going to go in with a resistance and a shield of thralls. I don't think we'll need sanctuary right off the bat, especially with an elixir of vigilance. So we'll just go in like this. Howdy, fellers. How's it hanging? 
You prowl my battleground. Your phone made by Acme? <laughs> Might be. Did you get the five parasites on the boat? There was two parasites that I got there, but yeah, I, I got them. The five parasites on the boat are in Act Three. But yeah, we have maxed out Illithid powers for uh, for Act Two. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get any more until Act Three. All the good ones. Drell sent me, looking for someone called Balthazar. Uh-oh, but what's happening here? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. That's my favorite line. I love that. That's so good. Okay, I'm gonna drink some agua real quick. Yeah, the portals are immune to psychic, so this is gonna be a little rough. We're gonna see how doable this is. Yeah, completely immune. They do have 16 HP. There's, we could kill them with... Uh, a repulsor. We could just get two of them right here. Honestly, that's not the worst idea. Um, because there's no way we're gonna be able to blow up the little or like the big one that spawns here because that is 32 HP. Repulsor just 12. That never hits the threshold. You can let you can open the door and let Balthazar die in that fight. Yeah, I, I know. Um, but I like to I generally try and take on fights without using like, as the game intended, essentially. Uh, without using any, like, cheese tactics or anything like that, before I resort to them. Is this going to damage the Umbral Tremors, though? Push anything and anyone back. I don't think it will. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Does it normally damage objects? Like, it doesn't have a little circle under them. I don't think this is going to work. Uh, I think in that case, I'm just going to focus on killing these guys and save the repulsor for like when we get surrounded. Because I don't think this is actually going to damage the Umbral Tremors. I'm just going to blast this guy. I think in this fight for me, the friendly skellies killed more portals than me. Hopefully these skellies do. Normally, I feel like my skellies just ignore the portals. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to head this way towards these guys, because that gives us more running room, if if need be, and there's more guys that are going to be spawning over there. Are you allowed to equip items that add different kinds of damage to your attacks? Maybe they don't have an effect on... Yeah, I, I can add items that boost up uh, different types of damage to Concentrated Blast, so I could use, like, Falara Loof Shriek. Um, I can use the Kalos Glow Ring, which is what we're currently going after. But, uh, yeah, most of the items don't really work on class actions. Will Catherick take the Night Song back to... Uh, or sorry, will Balthazar take the Night Song back to Catherick in this evil run? Unfortunately not. Um, we're, we're evil, but we're, like, evil on our own terms, you know? We're gonna betray Balthazar when it comes time. And that's mainly just because I don't want to fight Balthazar in that little hellhole under the, uh, in the Illithid colony. It's just a nightmare. The nightmare fight, and I do not want to deal with it. We'll blow this person up. Throw down another resistance. And... I, I want to stay near these guys, um, that I have, like, bodies to distract. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay near these guys. And then if push comes to shove, we can repulse her and just, and just run away. 
Yeah, they, this is what always happens for me. They just straight up ignore the uh, Umbral Tremors. They'll just do Mark of Putrefactions on one guy. Did you think about being a dirge just for the mantle? No, I've actively avoided being dirge and dirges in all my solo runs because of the mantle. And also because of... I like to tell my own story. I think the mantle kind of ruins the fun for lone wolf runs, at least for me. They're getting whacked up good. My god. Our allies are going down quick, boys. There's the deep umbral tremor. Okay, time for us to start getting into kiting position, which I think is going to be down this hallway. So we're going to start blasting, I guess, this guy, since he's got a little bit lower health. And then we're going to start heading down this way. Yes, sir. Don't mind me, fellas. I, I think this should be good for this turn. Mantle is kind of annoying in solo because it tends to make you exit combat and then people heal. Uh, yeah, that's that's well, that's also the reason why it's so good, uh, because it makes you exit combat after you just kill one guy. So you could just let like, go. Uh, they go one guy, then they die, you can like reset all your buffs and stuff, and then just go back in, pick off one guy, so on and so forth. Mantle is so good, it makes Rogue viable. <laughs> makes sense, most Lone Wolf runs are going to be burst, so it does make the Mantle even better, since you literally are the only one getting kills. Yeah, exactly, Mantle is just, it's way too good for it. What about unlocking Balthazar? I just don't feel like, um... Uh, like trying to cheese the fight before I, I try and take the fight on honestly. If it if we need to, if I feel like it's impossible without Balthazar's help, or if it just becomes too tedious for me, then I'll unlock it. But well, I like to show off what Michelle's capable of on her own, you know. At least with the big fights, you know, with the little fights. Like when I was trying to drag the uh, Shadow Cursed Undead to Moonrise. I'm pretty okay with the little fights being skipped, you know? That's just a matter of time until we win. Yeah. Blow up this guy. But this is gonna be, uh, quite the thing, huh? Uh, I think stage fright is gonna have to be big for us, and so is Repulsor. It's also going to be a long one. It's going to be a really long one. I wish the mantle worked closer to tabletop invisibility. It would be a lot more balanced if it was just the advantage-disadvantage benefit and not invincibility like invises in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I, I also... I mean, my main thing is I kind of wish it just didn't break combat every time you went invisible. Uh, and yeah, I do wish enemies could still at least have a vague idea of where you are. Okay, this is gonna be our... How do you guys feel about just, like, standing here? Oh, there's the big guy. How do you guys feel about just standing here with a stage fright on all of these guys? Look at this fucking initiative order. Good lord. We're gonna be here forever. Okay, just gonna make sure he is not... Yeah, he's not immune to psychic damage. We could just get a, a stage fright here and, and then just, like, have them wail on us, right? That's okay. We gotta go for it sometime. Let's just go for it. Let's just see what happens, you know? Let's just do it. Let's just, let's just do it. Okay, we got pretty much all of them. That's phenomenal. Uh, should I repulsor too? That might be a little overkill. We might need to save that for a different group of fellas. Uh, we might as well blow this guy up. He's down for the count. 
some of these guys don't have stage fright. Like this guy. Like this just this year's soul hunter. So I'm going to move up in the melee range. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot these guys make little blindness things on their corpses. So rude of them. Um, I think... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just going to resistance. I was debating using protection from evil and good, but most of them already have disadvantage anyways because of stage fright. We'll just pray. See what happens. How come he isn't immune to psychic damage? He has no mind. Uh, he's, he's like a spirit. Kind of has a mind. Uh, I guess I might as well get a charm out of the way. That way we don't have to do it for every single attack that comes our way. We could just, just sit here and lay it out, wait it out. Uh. We could have sanctuary and waited for a bigger crowd with the um, with the stage fright, but I think that was like that was probably as big as it was gonna get to, since a lot of these guys are arranged and they're not really gonna group up. Okay, fellas, gather around. Maybe we will go for a repulsor this next turn, just to, like, finish off a lot of these guys. Well, we might not finish them off with the repulsor. fight's getting a little scary, guys. <laughs> I'm really frightened of this guy in particular. Um, he's gonna be he's gonna be hidden hard. We could do a repulsor. We can end with protection from evil and good on on this turn. I don't hate that idea. That way they still swing at us and they have disadvantage on hitting us. I don't think Repulsor is going to do enough to, to blow anybody up. Except for maybe this guy, which might start a chain. Um, yeah. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Once again, though, I think this is pretty much as good as the group is getting for Repulsor. All these guys are ranged. That guy's melee. Yeah. I think that guy's melee, too. I don't really know what Night Weavers do. Are they mages? You'd Concentrator Blast somebody first. That's a good idea. Um, although there's a good chance Concentrator Blast kills. We could do it against this guy. Probably won't kill that guy. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do Repulsor. Whoever Repulsor doesn't kill, I'm gonna Concentrator Blast. Since they're getting pushed away before they blow up anyways. Most of them. Well, maybe not most of them. Well, uh, I'm just going to do Repulsor. <laughs> would Sorcerer make it so... Would make Mind Blast so it targets two people with meta magic? No, uh, Mind Blast is not a spell. Okay, well that was some alright damage, I guess. It was really bad damage though, wasn't it? Did, did I even like damage anybody? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, that was that was not great damage. See, that guy has stage fright, so I don't really want I don't really want to go after the guys with stage fright because there's a chance they might kill themselves. This guy doesn't. I'm gonna use it on this guy. We didn't kill him though, which has me a little bummed. I'm gonna protection from evil and good on ourselves. We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, I got this bug again, where our temp HP is maxed out at 5 again, for some reason. Once again, I'm just going to charm this guy so we don't have to deal with it for the whole list. Are they immune to psychic? These guys? No. Okay, so there's a pretty good chance that we're going to get hit at least a couple times here. Uh, which definitely has me a little scared. Is 
So that's chill music going on, yeah. Okay. Where's my stage fright homies at? Swing at me. Thank you. Okay, so stage fright doesn't proc call the weak. That's good knowledge. I definitely should have waited then. Killed that guy though, I think. No, I just ended his turn. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's kind of it for our AoE damage. So I think we're just going to start picking off the guys who are relatively low health here. So we'll blow this guy up, and then hopefully it sets off a little chain reaction. We'll see. Does Call the Weak blow up other Call the Weaks? We'll find out. Apparently not. Apparently not. That's kind of a shame. Then we will... Is this the turn where we start heading out? Do I do that again? Stage Fright's going to be gone at the start of their turn though, right? Or does that wear out at the, the end of their turn? Hmm. How much AC do I have? I have 23. 23 AC. And then that turn I also had protection from evil and good. So they all had disadvantage on attacking us. Because they are all undead. Uh, so we're gonna... Do I start heading out? It might be worth starting to head out. And then just like lure these guys all around the gauntlet. <laughs> Go on a little tour with our crowd. Oh yeah, the portals stop summoning. Yeah, they, they each spawn like two or three guys, I think. Okay, I think stage fright might last for another turn. Yeah, so I'm going to do another protection from evil and good. I'm going to take a look through our elixirs too, to see if and there's any we have that could help as a bonus action. Not really. Yeah, not not really. Okay, let's just go ahead and end our turn and see what happens. I don't think we need survival instinct. We should be good here. Let's just uh, give it a whirl. Take them to your gear, let him end his contract. Yeah, I'd be like, your gear, I got some old friends of yours. Wow, a hit right off the bat, huh? Screw you, man. Why is that a straight roll? Are all of these straight rolls? No. Ah. Huh, well, that's a bummer. That we got hit there, that our uh, shield went off on a lot of the stage fright guys. They have advantage on you, ally close. Do these guys have, like, pack tactics or something? They do not. Okay, uh, in that case... Yeah, we're just... Oh, we lost our concentration there, too. Okay, so I think the play here is we're just going to... Um, we're gonna get a little resistance going. We're going to get a little concentrated blast going on one of these guys, the 14 health guy, since that's the most likely to kill the one health guy, too. And then we're going to misty step out of here and just start, just start kiting them. Or we could sanctuary and reset our concentration, so we're ending our turn always concentrating on a spell, which I don't hate that idea. We'll just start by, by luring them away. Oh, we killed him. We rolled too high damage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't Misty Step from here, but I can from right there. Okay, I can go... I can go right here. Somewhere along, along this wall is where I'm allowed to go. 
Okay, I think that's as good as I'm getting. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. And then start heading out. See you, boys. Should have shut the door so that the ranged guys couldn't shoot me in case they can teleport or something. I don't know. All right, here they come. That's our, that's our foes, the army. <laughs> Can't you just get them to fight Balthazar? I could, but I, I want to try just doing it ourselves, you know, doing it on our lonesomes. We are going to be here a long time, yeah. Yeah, we got shot. Oh, for a fireball, yeah. Oh, good lord, we are going to be here for a minute. I think this might be the rest of the stream, guys. I might have underestimated how many how many bad guys were going to spawn. Oh god, look at them come. All those jumps. Oh, there's one more. Okay, so we're just going to... I think the play here is we're going to disengage. And then we're also going to dash just to gain some distance on these guys. Hopefully they don't jump every turn. Because then this might be uh, a little too much for us. And then this also lets us reset our uh, resistance so that we're ending with it. We'll see how this goes. Was there anything you could have done to keep Balthazar's skellies alive longer? Not really. I hope they don't have high ground on us here. Doesn't look like it. Unless that was the wrong attack. No, they don't. Okay, excellent. Can't believe I shaved my mom's pubis for this. What the hell, Miko? <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say that. I would pay good money to cast Wall of Fire in this situation. Yeah, it would be pretty sick if there's like an Illithid Wall of Fire. Are you going to force push them or where are you going? Oh, I'm just going away so that they can't... So that they have to dash each turn. Yeah. And they can't hit us. 39, 39, 1. I see a 1 in there. I don't really want to hit the 1 health guy. I'd rather call the weak the 1 health guy. Okay, we'll go for 39 guy. Uh, and then we will disengage. They're almost definitely going to jump off of those stairs, which is a bit of a problem. Oh no, they're losing. They're too far behind. Oh, we're losing, dudes. Oh no. Hmm, okay, well that's a problem. That makes me not very happy. I want to fight you all. Bring it on. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna dash a little further. No, don't go, don't go. I feel like I feel like that one like Batman meme, you know, where he's like holding on to his parents and they're like vanishing in his arms. One suggestion if this one doesn't work, you could save repulsor for when they all gang up and kite them to the ledge in the main room, then try to get a chunk of them with a repulsor and force tunnel. There's a ledge in the main room? I didn't even know that. Okay. We will start, I think, just dashing instead of disengaging. Since there's only really, like, two guys on, on our ass. So we'll just move out. Yeah. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna charm that guy. Screw that guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going, but best of luck to you. Thank you, Dragon Friends. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Oh, they keep leaving me. This should exist cunning action jump. What, where it like makes it just like a regular action instead of a bonus action? Well, at least the initiative list uh, got cut down by quite a bit. I wonder what happens if we just like have them all drop off initiative. Does the cutscene still trigger? Probably not. Okay, three guys this time. I did the order wrong there, by the way. Um, oh well. We'll blow up this guy. Hey, there goes the one health guy. Trigger the attack as of opportunity. Ow. 
one damage is that really all they're doing i guess there's a lot of light in this room maybe we should just like make our stand here just like shove ourselves into a corner oh there's no light in this room is there a light where i am no okay this place looks pretty well lit to me maybe we just make our stand by a brazier huh that sounds pretty good to me Rooms that you're in now is the ledge one, but if you're attempting to avoid them dropping off the combat, it might be difficult. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've kind of given up on that. I'll just retrace my footsteps and then kill him that way. At least we're, we'll, we'll be doing it by ourselves, you know, without Balthazar. Love your videos. First time being able to catch a stream. Hey, thanks for being here, James. Much appreciated. Okay, so we always trigger the attack of opportunity first. And the reason why is in case they hit us. Uh, then we can recast resistance to gain our temp HP back that we would have lost from them hitting us. And then we blast them. And uh, let's lure the big guy over to the edge and then blast him off. And then I'm less worried about all the little guys. Uh, so let's give that a whirl. Oh no! What is that line? That's the scary line. Ruin just revealed he has dark vision. Okay, does this place not look well lit to you? Can't believe you're still alive. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little unreal. Go get the demon to help you. He is in Balthazar. I mean, it's the same concept, but either way, your gear doesn't actually help you with this. You didn't say that when I joined Mr. Streamer. You said something about your mom's pubis. That's why. <laughs> Uh, okay, so once again, always trigger the attacks of opportunity first. Use the charm so it stops popping up. Da -da -da. Then we use Resisto. Then we blow somebody up. 31 health guy. And then we keep luring them over here. Is this a good way to cheese for XP? I don't know if I'd call this cheesing. Um, but we are bound to get a lot of XP. Ow. He's already killed these darts just this year, so he doesn't care. I guess so, yeah. Go get flesh. I'm trying to do the fight by myself. I think we can. Um... Those guys must have high ground on us, right? Oh, but they have disadvantage because they're so far away. Maybe this is our stand, you know? If they're going to stay at the edge, we can probably just tank the melee guys. Can they shove? I don't think they can. I feel like they can't, you know? I feel like they would have shoved me right there if they could. Are you going to go for the rat fight? I don't think so. I don't have a lot of reason to do the rat fight. I don't really like doing the rat fight either. It scares me. Okay, um, you know what, just, just in case. I'm actually, no, I'm, I am gonna stay here. I am gonna stay here. Because if those guys keep shooting me from above, I like this spot. I might move a little further back, just to make sure that guy is close to the edge. And then if they shove us off the edge, I promise I'll go get Flesh to fight with us. Okay, they moved closer, I don't like that. I have disadvantage though. What was that damage roll that he got on us? What am I getting? Oh, steel physiology is from my, uh, from my flail. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bit of a risk with the, the angle on the force tunnel so obviously the best way to do it would just be like click on him right just get to the other side and click on him but i think the play might be we do it at an angle and try and get some some of his buddies with him because if we do it this way i think he just gets blasted okay we need to do it like parallel to him so like down there um i think we might get his buddies too if we do it that way 
Oh, we need to get out of here, though. They surrounded us pretty good, huh? How do we get out of here? Jump? Take a lot of opportunity attacks. Okay, I think the play, protection from evil and good, jump out, force tunnel along the side like this. Misty step, we don't have Misty step, unfortunately. F5, no combat saves allowed. Da, da, da. Okay, why not disengage? Um, Because if we disengage, we can't get out of here. We were like, physically blocked in. So we need to spend one bonus action to get out of here, and then one bonus action for our, our Illithid power. Oh wait, no, disengage is uh, it's not a bonus action. You're right, we could do it. For some reason, my mind was stuck on cunning action disengage, but I still think giving disadvantage might be better, because then we also get to survive the next turn a little easier, and we get concentration up, and we get 8 temp HP. I still kind of like that idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to protection from evil and good myself. I'm going to jump out. See, what I'm really worried about here is when we force tunnel, I'm worried that if we don't push these guys off, this guy is going to get blocked by the guy right next to him. Because sometimes that happens with pushes, and we can't really tell. Because uh, force tunnel doesn't give a like a little display. The best thing to do is probably just hit him head on. They've been rolling, low rolling all fights, so you might live the jump. Oh, we're definitely going to live the jump. If they all swing with disadvantage, there's no way we're hidden. They're hidden. Um, okay, so screw it. I'm going to I'm gonna risk it all. I'm going to go for the, the, the parallel force tunnel. I'm going to jump from here. I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to go from here to here and just try and get, like, these guys off the edge. And we're going to pray that the other guys don't body block. Let's do it. Okay, this is gonna take a while. They're all swinging at me one by one. There you go. Thank you, fellas. And then we're gonna force tunnel. Just, just like this, right? That should be good. Maybe a little more to the side. Like that. Let's ball. Oh, mother... <laughs> they all got blocked. Oh, okay. Force tunnel needs to be head on. I'm getting... I'm getting greedy. He was like right here. Why did he get sent that way? What is the rhyme and reason? This guy got sent that way. He got sent that way. What the heck? <laughs> Where's the commonality? Is it just random? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, this fight's gonna take even longer now. I should have I shouldn't have gotten greedy. Crazy play, thank you, thank you. The Virgin Force Tunnel versus the Chad Repulsor. Yeah, it really is it does go that way. That's okay. At least we got protection from evil and good up. We got the Raphael song going again. That's fun. Goodness gracious. These, there's a lot of fellas swinging at me. Okay. Um, so we're going to... I think we just go back to, to, to kiting these guys then. We trigger all these attacks of opportunity... And then we dash, and we concentrate a blast, and we use resistance. Uh, so we definitely take the attacks of opportunity first, this time for sure, because protection from evil and good is going to make these hit us a lot less often. Yep. Okay, or that can happen. Rude. Rude. Rude, so rude. How come he didn't have disadvantage? I swear to god, these guys just like choose to give themselves advantage sometimes. Oh, it's because we're standing in darkness. 
Good lord. Okay, in that case, we are going to we're gonna cast sanctuary, and we're gonna we're just gonna take a moment and and re reorganize ourselves. Um, yeah. So, do they all have that? Doesn't look like it. Just that guy. Okay, that's okay. We're just gonna start heading up here. Heal up, uh, and then we're just gonna hang out by the light, I think, and maybe we'll be able to deal with them like that. Imagine if you could offer more tadpoles for more uses. People would be walk walking around with ten guaranteed crits. That would be pretty pretty whack. Yeah, we did go to Moonrise for the tadpoles on the dock. We have all our illithid powers. First time watching Repulsor the shit out of them, please. Repulsor has been used already, unfortunately. Um, okay, well. Buckle in, folks. We're gonna be here for a minute. Going for the ranged guys is probably what I want to do. Uh, I don't want to start going back that way, though. guys have sunlight sensitivity, but not just bright light sensitivity, so the brazier isn't going to do much for us. That's the wrong ability. The fact that these guys aren't following us kind of makes this annoying. Uh, okay, we'll just hit this guy then. Start going back up this way. Rip, I'm all out of ideas. Hey, that's okay. This is, we're just gonna have to do this the long way. I, that was a choice. Oh, no. Auto save. I swear that doesn't go against the combat save rules. It's not my fault. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a psionic backlash target. And that's a big psionic backlash target. My goodness. Please do that again. Thank you. Okay, trigger the attack of opportunity. Get him with the blast. Back up a wee. Regain concentration. Back up a wee a little more. And then a little more. Hit the stone door. Keep backing up a wee. Let him go. <laughs> restart the run. Run invalidated. Restart from the Nautiloid ship. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I swear it doesn't break the rules. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't me. Okay, this guy using that ability over and over is phenomenal. I really like that he's doing that. Uh, it makes me a really happy camper. Is it even possible to flee from that horde? I mean, if you're talking the flee from combat button, oh, we definitely could. We're fast enough. Uh, if you're talking on foot, 100%. You're about to see. We're, we're a fast cookie. Can we get them to go into the traps? No, I'll just, just go this way. We're going to trigger the rest of the horde down here, I think. They might not be able to jump either. Oh no, they can jump. We saw them do it earlier. In 3.5, there was a series of feats that slowly turned you into an illithid and love that we get something similar. That is pretty cool. One could argue using resistance invalidate the illithid powers only part of the challenge. I mean, if you're talking illithid powers only, then sure, it, it, is, it is impossible to do it. Uh, <laughs> but... That's not the rule set that I'm actually using. The rule set is not illithid powers only. It is only hurting enemies with illithid powers. Uh, well, the exact one is only directly negatively affecting enemies with illithid powers. But that gets a little lengthy for a title, so. Uh, this guy's already not in attack of opportunity range. 
But you could get like really pedantic like that for pretty much every challenge, and then it's already like pretty invalidated. Every lone wolf challenge is instantly ruined since Lazel joins your party at the beginning. How are we going to beat Kethrick? That's my question. We are going to... It's going to take a while, but we're going to do it. Yeah, the Sharon beatdown is ongoing. It's taken a hot minute, but I believe... We are doing it. Ah, I got the order wrong. No, I didn't. There you go, 8 temp HP gone, 8 temp HP regained. It's just that easy, folks. Oh no, we're losing more of them. I mean, you could do the cheeky shove Lazel during the infight. Oh yeah, I always have Lazel just jump off the edge, but... Uh-oh. That's an umbral form guy. What does that do? Umbral form. Oh man, he's done casting his spells. That's all that really means for us. And he gets to make an extra attack. And he deals more damage, which also bad. Uh, we're not going to bother charming him. We're going to break the charm anyways. Have you killed anything yet? We killed a few guys. We killed a few guys. Start heading up here, and we're gonna we're gonna hop. Ah, no, no, we've lost them all. Goodness gracious, uh, we're gonna have to hunt these guys down afterwards. You think you'll do any lone wolf runs for honor mode? It's on my list for sure. Yeah. Have you considered? Ah. Turns out they can shove. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Maybe he can only do it in that form? Because I don't know why he wouldn't have done it earlier if he could have. That's so good. Okay. Alright, I'll get Balthazar involved. Fine. Okay. Uh, our last autosave outside of combat was here? Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm gonna get Balthazar involved. Maybe that ledge doesn't proc shoves because sometimes the elevator platform is there? Maybe. That might be it, yeah. Yeah, we'll get Daddy Balthazar up in here. Uh, okay, in that case, we're going to head towards uh, getting a knock scroll first. Which means we're going to need to go through an extra fright fight to do that. Make sure to aggro Balthazar before he dies. Free XP. Good call. Good call. Okay. Uh, where is the Mason Guilds? Up here, I believe. Just to the north. Or is it... This is the House of Healing. This is the Mason's Guild. Please help Daddy Balthazar. Hey, listen, I can go through that again. I'm willing to do it without Balthazar's help, but I don't. <laughs> I, th I think you guys are going to lose your sanity before I do on that one. Why is this work, though? Look. I think they buffed Dame Aelin. Thank God. Good for her. She needed it. Why was Helsic hiding in that corner? I don't know. She just likes to keep an eye on you. Cat had three collective brain cells we lost to in that fight. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Okie doke. Um, 
I always forget if this is the one where you need a passive perception check, otherwise you're screwed. So I'm pretty sure the Nox Scroll is after the Shadow Fight. I don't think it's anywhere in here. There you go. Pretty sure we have a key for this place. Yeah, there you go. Let us in. A note from the Mason. That's Corilla, not Helsic. Oh, true, sorry. I always get them mixed up. What's that? that is a trap, my dear ma'am. Is there anything in this little section in here, by the way? Can you get in there? Anyways, we're gonna do this. Oh, we did not do it. Okay. Can I just loot this? You're still gonna make me disarm it? Oh, there goes my action. Anyways. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll Misty step out. If you insist. No loot for me. Bed, Balthazar, and beyond. True. Okay. Time for a little bit of a shadow fight. These guys kind of suck. Um, like, literally, they're going to suck our, our strength away, which is not going to be a fun time. But that's okay. I don't think they surprise us. They do appear out of nowhere. Oh, you can see that guy there. Look at him. He's just, he's just chilling. We're all your friends, buddy. Can I, can I aggro anybody from, from the center of the room? Ah, uh, guess not. Okay, so the Wraith definitely sucks the most because of his uh, extinguishing... No, where is it? Uh, it's an aura. He doesn't have it up yet, I guess. Uh, but I think our possibility to, to one-shot the shadows and, like, thinning out the horde is probably the correct play. Are, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hit that guy. And we're going to dash into the light. And then we're going to cast resistance on ourselves. And hopefully this this uh, fight isn't too hard. Please don't bed Balthazar. Yeah, I, whenever we get to like Balthazar sections of Act 2, Chad is always like this. They always just talk about how much they want to bone him. Aw, he saved. Okay, I'm gonna check out his aura of vile oblivion real quick. I could have sworn it did something else. Either way, he's the most annoying, just because he hurts a lot. I like picking up trap chests and then opening them in fights, which is a free action, so they explode on me and the surrounding enemies. That's pretty funny, yeah. I like that. Okay, that guy's invisible. We'll just blow up this guy. Try to, at least. Uh, we can go for a stage fright on these guys, too. Might not be a bad idea. We can take a short rest after this. We're gonna go into the Balthazar fight fully stocked anyways, so... Uh, we'll just do this. Aw, that's, that's one of the guys that I wanted to fail. What about Asterion? True, you're not allowed to sleep with Asterion either. Chat really said, hear me out. It happens a lot, yeah. Do not react. Please hit me again. Okay, he didn't hit me again. Man, we always fail those saves. Our strength is, uh, is letting us down. Okay, not that time, though. Okay, they got through our temp HP, barely. That provokes an attack of opportunity. I don't really like that. 
But I think it's worth it to kill that guy anyways. Oh, and also, get the stage fright going. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Okay, that's that guy dealt with. There's our resistance up. We'll just get cozy in our little beam of light again. You can bring Asterion and Halcyon with you when, when you party with the Drow Twins, yeah. So I've heard. <laughs> Asterion ain't undead, he's just revived into a vampire spawn. Vampire spawn are undead, though. Now, why isn't Omeluum romanceable? How do we always end up here? I do prefer Omeluum over uh, over the Emperor, though. Are you still stage fright? You are. Get swinging, boy. Idiot. <laughs> he fell for it. Okay. Can I not see the other guys? I guess not. I was hoping they would pop up if I moved over here. We'll just shoot this guy then. Do a little resisto. Do a little cunning action dash. Get back to the center. Get cozy with the, the wraith. Oh, they were the other way. That's why I couldn't see them. I really gotta pay attention more to the game, huh? I can't, I just can't get enough of watching you guys talk about who, which awful character you would romance more. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna charm you. Get charmed, idiot. Ah. Oh. He has advantage on that. Is that from his special stuff? Or is that just charm working properly yeah, like it used to? Really hard to tell, honestly. It might just be charm working like it used to. Okay. Either way... Resistance being at the start of our turns instead of at the end of our turns kind of sucks now. That's okay. Uh, we'll just we'll blow up this shadow. It's pretty much guaranteed to do that. Then we'll just stay in the light. I think tadpole charm never lands. Just saying it was working pretty consistently later or sorry earlier. That's the opposite direction of time. Uh, but I think they they didn't have. Advantage for some reason. Now they do again. I don't know what changed. Maybe it was like just a bug. Kidok. That's another dead shadow. We're doing it. We're killing them bit by bit. Hysterion would be undead in actual d and I chuck all the undead stuff not affecting him being up to the tadpole. Yeah, that's that's how the DM hand waved it, I think, as well. They were definitely just like, yeah, the tadpole makes it so that you're treated as humanoid instead of undead. That way, you know, whole person affects you and stuff. It, it was a bug that made charm work properly, yeah. Obviously a bug. Charm is working. But you never know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to click it. Maybe one day. Can we get an us run? I don't even know what that would be. Like, just, just, can you beat the game with only us? Just mod in us at, the, like, the start of the game. I guess I could do that at some point, you know, if I'm, like, really running out of ideas. <laughs> Get a mod that turns you into us. That would be okay. That would be sick. Oh, my strength. I really cannot wait to get better illithid powers, though. Displacer Beast form alone is gonna is gonna be so good. People had modded in being Minsk at the start of the game. That seems more doable than, than being us, though. 
Do you have dancing lights? I do not. No. I guess I might as well go for this guy. I can see him. Ah! Ah! One off from killing him. There's a mod to become Jaren Goth. That's, that's pretty incredible. Hey, Matea. How's it going? Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to do, do only damage with this one item from Act 3, so I'll have to stealth run the rest of the game. Brutal. <laughs> Hold on. I want to. I want to see if I can find that other guy. Wait here, Wraith. Hello. Where do you go? Okay, they're gone. Back into the light with me. Is Act Two proving to be difficult so far? Uh, mostly just slow. Um, but I mean, we have died a couple times. One of those deaths was just to, due to sheer negligence. Nothing else. Um, but I, th I think Act 2 is very doable. As long as you're patient and, uh, and smart. Yes, he has died 500 di times in the stream. I have died twice, excuse you. Act 2 is just training grounds for Patch 6 Merkel. Pretty much, yeah, Patch 6 Merkel is going to be a long, long time. I mean, we've been streaming for like 5 hours already. We've barely done anything just because of how long these fights are taking us. Get my man and Astral Tadpole immediately. Please, I'm begging you. One off. One off from killing that guy. Clips of both deaths are in the Discord. Link in the description. True, there is a link in the Discord in in the description to the Discord server. And Bunny is incredible at finding every single death I've ever had and making sure it's available for everybody to watch, nice and easy. Okay, that's that guy, Dad. I need to find the other guy. Will you resonate with the Astro Tadpole, or will you eat it? I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna chow down on that little guy. Okay. Does it fail the saving throw against being seen? It's right here. I know it's right here. Can I, can I switch to my light source? Does that, does that help? Okay, it does. I think that took my action, though, so uh, we'll give it a second. Ow, one damage. Why don't you just turn off the reaction for charm? In case it's useful. You never know. Okay. That's that guy dead. I'll go my light source, get my defender flail back. Okay, and then we, we need to save. I'm pretty sure this one, if you fail to see it, you just like don't get to open it, right? Okay. But we did it. We do have music this stream. Yeah, we're just listening to the, the soundtrack. But hey, it's music. I'm done. Roll a knock. There you go. That's what we came here for. Get some sick potions too. Never heard a funnier joke in my life. Deep charm is useful. Yeah, well, you never know. Could be. Are you going to romance the Emperor? Unfortunately, yeah, I promised Chad I would do that. Okay, now we're pretty much going to have to lockpick the vault door open. Uh... So that might take a while too, unfortunately, to get the Kalos Glow Ring. We might just end the stream after this next fight, uh, because this next fight might might take a year and a half. Either way, we are back to the Grand Mausoleum. Are you going to betray the Emperor or kiss him? Uh, I'm unfortunately going to kiss him. We'll take a short rest. 
Take a level of whiz, describe it. Then our uh, illithid powers will be using intelligence. And I cannot do that. Can't recall, what did you make the dream visitor look like? Very sexy, don't worry. Get that achievement. You act as if I don't already have it. I actually don't know if I have it. I don't remember if I romanced him on my first run, because I was being evil on my first run. Does Tadpole Charm work with the Stormy Clamor boots? I don't see why it wouldn't. We are not using those boots, though, because that is a damage source that is not an Illithid power. We're allowed damage riders, but not other damage sources that are not Illithid powers. I think we should vote on when the stream will end. Alternative 1, you end the stream after Merkel. Alternative 2, you may end the stream after the Netherbrain. Good lord. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I have that cut out for me today. It does, I just did a reverb build. Hell, there, there you go. Question answered. There's always somebody who's done that build. Who's tested that thing. Twin died to the trapped illithid by kissing it four hundred times. Links in the description. Links in the Discord. Yeah. I uh I just kept smooching him, you know, I thought for sure maybe this time it would work, but nah, he just kept killing me. On a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied are you with this build's current damage output? Uh, about like a 4, I'd say. You know, I'm not... Like, it's not the worst. It is doable. Um, and it's guaranteed damage, at least. So, yeah, it's, it's really not the worst. But it is still definitely a f no higher than a 4. Running back and forth with Blood of Lathander repeatedly applies reverb. Yeah, isn't that how... Uh, or like something like that is how Fracture beat the Nether Brain with his true strike only run. Yeah, we're gonna Resistance, Shield of Thralls. Head inside. Oops, gotta gotta pull the lever. Head inside. Howdy fellas. You did it with ballist armor, right, right, right. If this DPR can beat Solo Tactician, anything can. Yeah, I mean, I think Fracture's doing a run right now where uh, he's beating the game with Boo only, which is pretty cool. Pharrell sent me. Okay. Hello, Balthazar. Let me get my scroll of knockout just for you. Boop. Gotta go open that door now. Ah, not enough movement. Get out here, fellas. How's it going, gang? I think he's trying to be honor mode with Boo only. He is, yeah, he's beating honor mode with Boo only. Oh man, he's really using that, uh, that potion of speed too. He hates that one skeleton. I want to see you do honor mode. I'll get around to it for sure. Oh man, are these are these portals just gonna die instantly? I think someone should beat the game without doing anything. Somebody's gonna get there at this rate. Reverb and electric water surfaces made me think less of it, but maybe I just need to use it on the thunder spells. Less of just like how good it is, how good reverb is. Uh, I think I'm just going to let these guys fight. Like the more people Balthazar loses, the better. Because we're going to need to fight them later. So we'll just uh, probably just let this one play out. Maybe sit in the back with a sanctuary if it comes down to it. But I think for now, we should be good just, just moving out of the way. My goodness. 
dropping the cloud kill and everything. He's going all out. They never attack the portals, like like ever. I guess they didn't last. Well, they they did a little bit. They got, they got four damage on it. I kept reverbing my own people. Oof, brutal. He will lose this fight on tactician. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> You were watching Balthazar 6, you are useful. Exactly, in case somebody sneaks up on him. I think beating the game with Just Create Water would be fun. I think that would be a pretty doable challenge, too. Have you tried Honor Mode? Not really. Uh, I mean, uh, closest I've really done is just, like, a little bit of testing in early Act 1. It just doesn't really interest me that much. Because I prefer playing Lone Wolf. And uh, playing Lone Wolf Honor Mode pushes you into like a very specific strategy. I'm going to recast this and, and, and get out there. Get Michelle like watching in the corner, you know? You shall live to regret this. Love the vids. I finally caught a stream. Vods are great to hang out with. Hey, I'm glad to hear it, Fraser. Thank you for being here. Next stream, beating honor mode as us romancing Balthazar and only using create water. We're gonna get Balthazar wet, what can I say? I beat honor first try, it was scary but a great challenge. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Congratulations on beating it first try. I don't think honor mode solo is quite that restrictive, it's just way less fault tolerant. Uh, I guess, but I don't know. I, I also like taking the less um, optimized play, I guess, a lot of the time. And just, like, testing it and seeing how it goes. Like, that's where a lot of the fun comes for me. Which is why, like, you know, I wanted to try doing this fight first. Um, without bringing in Balthazar. It didn't work, and, you know, that's okay. Then we'll try bringing in Balthazar, but... Yeah, I, I kind of just like doing less optimal stuff, and I like playing really in character, too, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. And I feel like playing honor mode encourages you, like, doing stuff uh, just to get items and experience, and not necessarily doing what your character would do in that specific moment. Especially with Lone Wolf. Like, there's, like, routes you should follow, because it's the optimal thing to do. Okay, they definitely look like they're about to start losing, so I think I'm going to intervene now. Not that I think will help out a lot, but, you know, better than nothing. Okay, that guy's probably going to die at the start of his turn. Same with that guy. Uh, we'll just start hitting the guys closest to us. Hey, 17 damage. That's pretty good. Do you allow yourself to respec? Many people do not, and I get it, but I don't agree. Yeah, I don't allow myself to respec. I like sticking with my consequences. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the turn. Okay. <laughs> you could do honor mode with just your character and hirelings, make up more stories for the party, or do duo runs. Uh, no, I, I, li I really like just the difficulty of, of one character, playing as one character, controlling one character. It's just did for me. Yeah, the portals do have a summon limit. Have no fear about that. Recently beat honor mode with a friend too. We had to employ unethical tactics, death by barrels. You do what you gotta do, man. I'm probably gonna be less restrictive on myself when it comes to honor mode too. I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll allow barrel Nancy though. Just because I don't think that's always the most fun thing to watch. Unethical is subjective, yeah. If it's okay with you, it's okay with you. It's just up to the difficulty of the game you want to play. I mean, it's all single-player stuff anyways. Play the game how you want to play. That's why I started doing these challenge runs in the first place. Because I just liked the, um, I liked the rule set I came up with. 
I was like, maybe other people will too. We need a duo run with one character being played by chat. Oh god, how would that even work? Do I just like cycle out viewers every like five minutes? I think somebody can program a mod where it's like Twitch chat or YouTube chat in this case controls a character. How would that even work? Oops, that's the wrong move. Alright, give me my resistance back. And we're gonna watch another round of combat. Oh, there goes a misty step. Every reasonable pause, the duo changes. Every dialogue option is a poll. Okay, we could definitely do every dialogue option is a poll at some point. That would be fun. Um, and I'm sure that would be, like, really easy to do, too. I mean, it might take a little while for the poll results and everything, but... By Act 3, most parties can probably summon, like, four other creatures, but I choose not to because it takes too long and they do so little. Yeah, I mean... If you're playing, like, Lone Wolf Honor Mode, that's also probably another optimal thing to do before major fights. Um, summon a whole bunch of dudes. It's easy to take chat and input that as a keyboard. Sadly, the game is very complex and not sure if they would be able to. Yeah, that's why, like, for Pokemon, yeah, it w wouldn't be hard to do that stuff. Like, you know, Twitch plays Pokemon, that's a classic. Everybody loves that, but Twitch plays Baldur's Gate, I think, would be would be very difficult. I think it might be best if we had one viewer cycle in. It would probably have to be like a members only thing uh, or something, or like a like a Discord m server member only thing uh, for people who have like been with the server for like a month or so, just to avoid like some catastrophic trolling. Uh, yeah, we'll just kill this guy. We'll just, we'll just take our easy licks. Resisto. Oh man, he's resorting to Bone Chill. You burn through all your spell slots on freaking Rays of Sickness and Misty Steps? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Are we even gonna win this fight with Balthazar's help? Like, we took, like, what, three turns to, to... Just to watch, just in case. But he's getting his ass whooped anyways. Speaking of undead, does Connor benefit from the various necromancy stuff? According to Bunny, nope. That's good to know. Flesh is gonna go berserk. Oh no, he's not. He's like really okay. I could never play Necromancer. Too many little guys. Yeah, it is a lot of little guys. I'm thinking for my honor mode build, it'll probably be a Paladin uh, Warlock combo. I think that would be an interesting one. And I'm trying to rack my head, but I don't think uh, anybody... Uh, any other content creators have done that particular build for, for Lone Wolf Honor? I think it would be pretty good. I don't know if it'll be good enough, though. We'll see. Can't you destroy the Tremors at the start of the fight? Uh, they're immune to psychic damage. So, I, I really can't. Kind of just up to Balthazar and his dudes. Yeah, we'll kill that guy. Don't mind if I do. Another 60 XP for me. I'm going to hide with Balthazar in here. Uh, just in case things start to go real south. Yeah, you get him, Balthazar. Yeah, he's totally out of spell slots. Have you got the Jack of All Trades, Chivo, yet? Not yet, no. That's also on my list. But, um, 
I'm going to save that for the last class challenge that I do. Just because I think that would be a fun way to cap out the series, you know, do like a uh, mono class each class and then end it off doing jack of all trades and then we'll like level up in order of the lone wolf class challenges. So first will be fighter, then bard, then monk and so on and so forth. Paladin bard is fun, very charismatic and strong. Yeah, paladin bard would be good. Paladin warlock is one of the strongest builds in the game. That's one of the reasons why I want to do it because it is very strong. Uh, I think just honestly having Repelling Blast alone is going to like trivialize a lot of dangerous stuff for us. I'm just doing a vanilla honor mode with party as Sork main and that's hard enough. Almost entire party died due to falling while traveling to the crash. You guys probably know where. Yeah. That is uh, that is scary stuff, man. Good night. Good rest of the stream. It's so late here. Hey, thanks for being here, Eels on Wheels. I really appreciate it. Have a good sleep. I did jack of all trades while it was still bugged and I didn't get the achievement. Oh man, I'd be pissed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Truant doesn't die to falling. It's yet to happen. Yet to happen. Maybe. Knock on wood, obviously. Okay, there's one portal left. 80 bil billion guys left. But this is definitely like way fewer guys than last time. Uh, yeah, we have a chance to kill this guy. We'll go for it. We did it. Phenomenal. We'll just, we'll just get in our little corner. Oh, he could just bring guys back? Why haven't you been doing that earlier, man? <laughs> Dead in honor mode solo in the traps near the blood of Lathander. Oof, that is brutal. If you go into a game, take a character slash companion that you haven't leveled up, add them to party, and level them into every class that gives you the achievement. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's an easy way to get the achievement. I myself think it would be fun to save that, getting the achievement for um, doing the lone wolf jack of all trades for my own personal purposes. But if you are just an achievement hunter, like, looking to 100% it, that's definitely the way to do it. I personally don't really care too much about achievements, and I'm pretty sure I won't get a lot of them without companions, so... Oh well. You can also do it with a hireling? I'm pretty sure they changed that. Okay, our initiative order is finalized. At last. No more bad guys spawning in. Apparently I do not have enough movement to hit that guy. I'm gonna hit him with the old cunning action dash. And hit that guy. Oh no, one off. Catastrophic. Um... Yeah, I mean, we'll kind of just, like, hide behind Balthazar. Well, hopefully they'll kill him before they kill us. Yeah, get out there, man. They're kind of just ignoring him so far and going for his goons. Didn't change it to the achievement with the hireling a few days ago? Huh, go figure. Time to get into work. Enjoy the rest of the stream if you finish before I get out. Sounds good. Enjoy work. Lone Wolf Jack of all trades will be very hard. Very doable though. I'm not I'm not stressing. Uh I think it'll I think it'll be easier than this challenge, honestly. Cause at least we'll be allowed to like use class abilities and stuff. Not that we'll get a lot of them, but at least we'll be able to use them. <laughs> Is Balthazar a paladin or can you get that aura for being a necromancer? Uh it's from an item that he has, the undead ward. You can just get it off of him when he dies. It'll be easier than Illithid powers? Yeah, I mean, like, it's... We'll still have Illithid... Well, I'm probably gonna use Illithid powers on the Jack of Old Trades Lone Wolf run, just because, you know, I think it'd be fun to, like, reminisce on all of our previous characters, and that's how I would get Michelle in there. 
We'll blow up this guy. And we'll do a little a little bit of this. A little bit of this. I resorted to using all the stat boost equipment and pumping stats into decks and charisma, relying mostly on Elder's Blast, Flurry Blows, and Damage Riders. That makes sense. Yeah, that totally checks out. Elder's Blast definitely seems like a good call. Oh! The guy scared me for a second. I thought he was coming after me. He's just going after that skeleton for some reason. You get so very many dialogue options when you were old 12 classes. I, <laughs> I bet. I can imagine. Maybe we'll have like the polling thing with uh, chat on that run. Throwing off like the, the character's split personality. When you get Illithid Powers like the Displacer Beast shape, are the attacks from that going to count in the rules of the run? Yeah. I don't see why not. It's damage coming from an Illithid Power. What would the Jack of All Trades build like? Maybe one feature from each? Uh, it, I mean, it would just be one level in each class. There's 12 classes, you get 12 levels. It does look like the Dark Justiciers are actually going to win, yeah. Uh, which is just straight up shameful for, for Balthazar, but oh well, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to start uh, getting into a fleeing position. I mean, kiting position. <laughs> uh, just, just in case. For a friend. Would you do a run where you're only allowed to use spells purchased from vendors, aka the most expensive run ever? I don't think so. I think that would just be really tedious. Um, and probably be using like a lot of bugs to get that much gold. Uh, and doing like a lot of long resting to, to reset. Uh, vendor stock, and I, I just don't think that would be very fun. There's a reason why he was hiding. I guess so, yeah. It's a tactical retreat. There you go. That's that's it. It's a tactical retreat. Oof. Come on, Flesh. You can do it. Take out another one of them. You can do it. It is Jover for Flesh. He's going to go down swinging, though. I believe in him. Get him, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, he he didn't he didn't kill him, but he got pretty close. That's got to count for something. I'm gonna blast that guy. That guy was in perfect blasting range. I liked that. Uh, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna start walking a little bit more this way. Sorry, fellas, coming through. Don't mind me. Going this way. Just how Fionn said in his Jack of All Trades run, with every level we got stronger, barely, I'd say about 2% two, two stronger, at least we get more health. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're increasing strength, at the very least. Damn, we didn't even get this Justicia Crusader anywhere near half health. We did better by ourselves, guys. <laughs> You get an extra Eldritch Blast Beam sometimes. You do, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll charm that guy. He's in love with me. Okay, he's not. Yeah, they have advantage now. Interesting. They didn't earlier. Oh, Flesh is done, so He's done for. Hopefully Ghoul Medic survives. I love Ghoul Medic. You do still get plenty of extra spell slots, which, I mean, honestly, a lot of level 1 spells upcasted aren't bad, either. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah, we'll just blast the guys shooting at us. Might as well. I'm just going to stay here for now. We're not in any big danger. Especially when Balthazar just keeps resurrecting his guy. 
Uh, it might be the play to take out Balthazar, like, right after this fight, uh, since he's out of spell slots, seemingly. Is he gonna full heal, though? I mean, assuming Balthazar survives, which, who knows if he will. Rip, Blesh. You broke my brother. That's what the headband of intellect is for. You're a wizard and you have intelligence. I like that. If you turn on him, well, there's at least one enemy on the field. He can't reheal. Yeah, that's probably what I should go for. I should probably do that this upcoming turn, honestly. Since all of his guys are dying. Ah, I shouldn't have moved so far away. Yeah, let's let's go for it now. Excuse me, fellas. Coming up. Not enough movement. Okay, a little risky, but... Um... Wait till next turn. He'll probably survive till next turn. We'll just blast one of these guys again for now. Oh, we'll go for the 43 health guy. Then we'll blast good old Balfi next turn. He's out of cloud kills, so you should be safe. I just don't want to get stunned by one of his ghoul medics or something. So I'm going to just wait till this next turn, blast him, and then start dashing away. Especially because he keeps making more. Maybe he will survive. Maybe not. I mean, he's running further in. God damn it, Balthazar, get back here. What's your favorite thing about doing solo runs? Uh, that's a good question. What is my favorite thing? I don't know. I, I like the simplicity of controlling one character and just building for one character. Uh, I obviously like the challenge that it comes with, too. You know, I like just, uh, I like the added level of difficulty. If you, like, solo tactician feels like such a good level of difficulty for me. Um, it just clicks with me so well, you know? Okay, okay. So I think, hopefully we don't get attacked by the ghouls on the way out. We're going to do, do the old concentrated blast on Balthazar. Is that, he's not an enemy. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> um, okay, well, that's as good as it's getting for us. It's not like we really have an alternative of what to do. We'll get our temp HP back and then just head out of here. You have to blast him a few times? Oh god, oh, he's definitely gonna die before we do that. We might be able to get the last hit on him. We'll see. Yeah, there's, there's a chance. Nope, that's, there's not a chance. Okay, well, we didn't get the experience. Oh well. That's fine. We'll survive. Uh, we still have quite a lot of dudes to take care of. I think our next turn is going to be a stage fright on these five. Hi, Matt. Broccoli, Bob, and Rizlin finished their adventures of the day. I hope it was good. Welcome back. Okay, everybody's dead. We'll provoke this attack of opportunity. Oof, ouch, owie. Oh, breaking our concentration is just plain rude. Uh, and then I definitely think we stage fright these five and just start thinning down the herd. Once there's just a few people left, this fight's going to be a lot easier. Uh, so we'll, we'll stage probably these five. Then we'll start heading over to the... Oh, are you kidding me? 
These guys. Oh, I hate these guys. It's a straight D20 and three of them succeeded. Grr, I'm mad. Okay, I need to start dashing over this way too. Okay. It was very good. Rizlin dealt the final blow to the blade by insulting it. Damn. You go, Rizlin. I don't like that that guy jumped. Sometimes they don't jump, and it's I much prefer that. It's gonna be really sad if we die after all this anyways. Uh, I would love to lure this guy over to the edge and push him off, but I'm a little afraid of getting pushed off by him now. Given that's how our last attempt ended. Did these guys even shoot at us? Did the, the stage fight guys even shoot? Okay, we'll trigger the attack of opportunity. Well, damage. Concentration broke. Okay, should have shot, then trigger the attack of opportunity, then go. Uh, okay, whatever. Definitely a misplay there. Okay, we'll blow that guy up. Do a little damage to his neighbors and, and start retreating down this way. And hopefully they follow and, and we don't break combat or, or anything and everything is fine. You didn't get knocked for Balthazar's door? Oh, we did. No, Balthazar just, just died terribly. <laughs> this is with Balthazar helping us. Oh god, hello fellas. Howdy, folks. They didn't do that last time. I've never seen a Justiciar Adventure. They're always here in my experience. Okay, uh, so we have no spell we're concentrating on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try and blow up this guy. We're gonna roll really poor damage. We're gonna trigger an attack of opportunity. He's gonna miss. And then we're gonna dash this way. Okay. How long has he been at, at this? This has been, this fight's been going for a little while, yeah. <laughs> what encounter is this? This is the one right outside of Balthazar's room. This is what happens when you can't deal damage to the portals. Lami is better than the dagger. Same damage amount, but bludgeoning? I don't know if bludgeoning is strictly better than piercing. But Salami is pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we triggered the attack of opportunity because we're not concentrating on anything. I'll charm this man. Yeah, I won't. <coughs> Worth a shot. Uh, get a silly billy resistance going. Blow up this guy. Okay, that's another dead guy. Phenomenal. And we'll keep heading this way. Oh my god, we lost the guy. Why do these guys fall off so easily? Why did that guy just give up? Come on, keep up, man. Okay. Um Is this a ledge I can knock him off of? Maybe. Probably not worth finding out though. We'll just head this way. Yeah. We'll just go back, I guess, if we have to. I, I really do want to try knocking that guy off the cliff. It is very scary, though, for obvious reasons. Resisto. Get a little resisto going. Uh, yeah, we'll start blasting this guy. I think I got the order wrong there. Okay, here, no, no, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lure him over to the edge while we have Sanctuary active. And then that way we know for sure he can't do anything to us. Hey, he failed the saving throw against Charm. Hey, we, we discovered a waypoint, that's rad. 
Bet these guys don't even have a bosom companion. I'm getting the same vibes from them. So, you know what? I think I'm actually just going to use Sanctuary now. Since that's part of the plan anyways. And we'll just we'll just meander on over. We'll take our time doing it. We'll get a little resistance going. We'll get a little heal going. And we're just gonna make sure that all these guys follow us and hopefully we don't lose them all. Then we'll lure him to the edge and get him with either a repulse or a force tunnel. That easy. I'm just going to use my regular movement so that these guys can keep up. Was absolutely blindsided the first time Withers said I had no bitches. I really wasn't expecting it either. It, it, like, it's just so rude for no reason. Okay, can you guys at least try and not fall off of the initiative order? Also, I thought they were silent. Do you see them? They were just smack talking us. They just like break their undead vow of silence. Just like throw down some shade. Okay, if they're not going to follow anyways, I'll do one dash per turn. It is unbelievable that there is absolutely no porn images of Withers on the internet. I really, I... I'm just, I'm going to say you're probably just not looking in the right spots. <laughs> okay. Come up to the edge. Come here, little boy. Yes. You know you want to. Yes, yes. Good. Good just to see your crusader. I have searched. <laughs> so many times. Interesting. Interesting you would just admit to that. Okay, force tunnel. Oop. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> he missed the chasm. He <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Uh, why? Okay, alright. Um, so, I guess this fight's gonna be even longer because we're gonna have to like go around to get him. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, okay, alright. Well, let's, let's start killing these guys, I guess. Man, that guy's not in range. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go up here. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Oh, he fell out of initiative. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm just gonna count that as a kill. I'm <laughs> I'm not going back down there. We're just we're counting that, boys. I wonder if he healed up. We'll go check on him after this. Actually, we'll no, we'll check on him after. He has hollow bones like a bird. <laughs> okay. Uh, if they're gonna stay at the edge here, I'm like pretty sure they have disadvantage on where they're attacking us from. I can double check. Where, where, where are they? Okay, they don't actually. They just suck at rolling dice. It's fine. It's fine. We needed to be able to hit them anyways. I think he may have disappeared. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Stuff doesn't render in though, unless you have like line of sight on the NPCs, so. We'll see. The rats got him. I hope so. Okay, well, at least we just gotta kill these guys. I'm probably gonna, like, run in and hit them with a uh, repulsor at one point, too. How's it like finishing this game? 
uh, this much. Uh, do you still find new stuff? I do, yeah. I I definitely, like, I, I've rarely done just, like, full playthroughs where I, like, explore every nook and cranny. Uh, so between my various playthroughs, I'm definitely getting excuses to do just that. I'm definitely not bored of playing this game yet. And I don't think I will be for a while to come. What about the helmet that makes enemies take radiant damage when they miss? That's the same thing with the reverberation boots. It's another damage source, not a not a damage rider, so it's against our rule set. Hey, thank you, James, for the listener to your membership. I really appreciate it, man. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I'll start blowing this guy up. Six damage, that's not good enough. Now Miss Free is a bird now, and this bird you cannot cage. That's the that was the just this year guy for sure. He as he was like plummeting to his de to his life, not his death. He's fine. Just keep getting the great content out. You know it, brother. You got it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Ow. Okay, that's, a, that's, a, that's some chip on those guys. What is he shooting? <laughs> where, did, where did his bolts go? <laughs> Welcome to the green gang, yeah. Okay, I think this is where we run in and then, then just, just get him with the old uh, repulsor. Probably should have run in just to give them disadvantage on attacks anyways, but we'll, we'll do this. Get a wee bit of a delay going. Thirty-seven, thirty-four, thirty-four. Okay, we'll go at thirty-four. Not enough movement. He's right in front of me. Am I, am I blinded? No. Oh, oh, that that little darkness cloud right there. This corpse is preventing me from hitting all three of these people. That's insane. Okay, uh, we'll go after this guy then. The pot breaking sounded like the Lego disassembling sound. It really did, yeah. Maybe Bony Guy was just as sick of this fight and took the... Took the out after the fall. Maybe. Oh, that's what was happening to the bolts. They were just going into the darkness and just, like, getting absorbed. Okay, we're gonna have to heal this turn, just to be sure. But that's okay. We're gonna do a little bit of this. We're gonna get all up in their grills. Gonna get nice and in the middle of all these guys. Hit them with the old heal. I did find pictures of naked withers, by the way. There you go. Somebody found them. <laughs> Stuff the corpse in your pocket. I mean, I, I guess I could have done that, but it wasn't that big of a problem. Okay, well at least this fight's wrapping up. I think I am gonna disable charm. It's too much for me. We'll save it for other fights. Yes, I've seen them too, but that's hardly porn. You really just want Withers porn, huh? Nothing else will satisfy you. Not pictures of him naked. You just... <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <laughs> alright, Probably shouldn't be talking about it. I don't want the live stream to get demonetized or anything. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Good thing you disabled the reactions the last 3% of the fight. I can turn it back on if you want, man. Don't tempt me. I will turn this car around, so help me God. Resisto. 
Are you still on this fight, poor bastard? We're cleaning up. We're cleaning up. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna check AO3 wither stuff. Hold on. Good lord. Okay. Two left. And then we're gonna go check uh, back in this room where I think there's one more guy. And then we're gonna check on that guy and maybe kill him too. I left to watch Jeopardy an hour ago. You're still on this fight. That's the challenge for you. That's the challenge. But we're doing it. We're making progress. Second try at the fight too, yeah. I had high hopes for that first attempt. But it's probably for the best that I, I got killed there. I think it might have been faster for us to go do the other fight, get the Nox rule, come here, do Balthazar, and then do this. They can't shove. I mean, they didn't earlier. Like, we offered them one chance to shove us into the void, and they didn't. So I wasn't that scared at that point in the fight. But hey, you know, life happens. With the storm raging, you'll be wanting to pad out the content for Act 2. Definitely, definitely gonna be some padding here, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I really have to go to the washroom. But congratulations, Michelle, on getting through the hard part. Uno momento, gang. I'm gonna... I just realized my Spotify stopped, too. The music broke at some point. Oh, no, it's still playing. It's just, like, an ambient track. Okay. I will be right back. Okay, we are back. Imagine, if you will, a world without melee attacks, without ranged attacks, but only illithid powers. You don't have to imagine. It's a real world. It's this world, unfortunately. Uh, okay, there's a man back here. I want to kill him. Gonna use a potion to top up just in case. Where's that guy? 
That one guy. There he is. He's just hanging out. He's. You see him? He just like stood up. He was like, oh shit, you're still here? He just like woke up from a nap. Probably should have casted resistance first, but whatever. There's no way we die here. F5 probably would have been a good call. Yeah. Probably would have been a good call. Self-same trial will be interesting. Oh god, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the self-same trial. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. That's gonna be awful. We're gonna be facing a version of a version of us that can do stuff. Hopefully they have our same spells prepared, because our spells don't really affect other people. Has this been a bozo -less stream? I don't know what you mean by bozo, but I don't see any bozos here. Just a bunch of cool peeps. Okay. Can we spot him from up here? Down there? Probably down there. Okay. There's an... Isn't there like an elevator or something we can take? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not, I guess. Yeah. Um, let's just uh let's just use like a feather fall thing and jump down. Hey, we're almost level seven. Does it matter, potion or scroll? I don't think so. Oop. Where she goes. Do a little quick save. We crushed a rat tunnel, apparently. There he is. There's the guy. Okay. Oh, let's do this. He's just hanging out down here. Hey, man. You doing okay? Uh, I think he's probably gonna, like, come up to get us. Jump on him. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just gonna climb up here. Let him chill with the rats. They are the last two Dark Justice years. Yeah, they're, they're buddies, they're pals. I should have moved further, actually. He didn't heal, that's a plus. It is definitely a plus, yeah. Could you imagine if you just like shoved me to my death here? Subsume Shadow, bro, your shadow was already subsumed. There was no need to do that. Uh, so we're gonna blast him. Trigger an attack of opportunity. Oof, ouch, owie. Get hit a little bit. Use resistance. Dash away. Yeah. Jump down now that he is up. That would be pretty funny. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we just have him unlock if we just keep doing this. Get him with the concentrate blast. Let him swing at us. Move away. Cutting action dash. Move away. Resistance. Rinse and repeat. Just a few more turns of this and we got him. That was rude. Oh, hello. My little baby cat's awake. Oh, she looks so sleepy. She's just like staring at her... The this usual spot where she always jumps over like a piece of furniture on the ground. Um... She's just staring at it. There's no way she's jumping. Proof of sleepy cat. I'll show her if she comes a little closer to me. But I don't want to, I don't want to like give her hope. Because sometimes she'll like come up to me and she'll like think I'm going to play with her if I like pick her up. If, or if I like go out of my way to pick her up. And then I just like put her down and then she, she like hates life. Uh, and I don't want to do that to her. If she comes right next to me, then I'll pick her up and show it. Ah! 
hear her screaming. I don't know where she is. She's somewhere. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's right next to me. All right. I'll show you guys my sleepy cat. Ah. Okay. Little little Theodosia break. Oh, you hiccuped again. You're hiccuping a lot. Don't be worried, baby. Ooh, okay. Little baby cat. I'm sorry my, my webcam has got such gross lighting. Look at her. Look at my little baby cat. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hmm. Hello, Theodosia. Good girl. I hope your nap was good. Okay. Back to gaming. She's on my lap and she looks pretty content. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's purring away. She's feeling good. She's loving life. Uh oh, she's falling off my lap. She is slipping. Uh oh, cat down. No, oh, cat down. Okay, she recovered. She's good. We're feeling good. Hey, that is a well-earned level up. My goodness. Okay. We're gonna get what you became here for. Our, our callous glow ring. And then... I think... Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. They don't shove, cat. Yeah. Okay, we are level 4 Cleric now, which means we get a feat. We get one level 2 spell slot. We get a cantrip. We're 100% going to take light. Uh, and then for our feat, I think we are actually going to take... Uh, I think we're going to start with tough. I like the idea of just having more hit points. Uh... So there's a few really good cantrips, or not cantrips, feats that we can take here. Um, we could take tough, we could take alert, or we could take an ASI. I think are the best ones. Heavy armor master isn't bad either. Just taking less damage is really good. And it might be better. Actually, I think because... Uh, I think because we get 8 temp HP every turn, I think that heavy armor master is going to be better than tough. What about Warcaster to hold concentration better? I mean, we we break our own concentration every turn anyways, so it's not the biggest deal. Uh, I definitely don't think Warcaster is one of the great feats we could take. Okay, so I think we don't take Alert because we have Sanctuary. Uh, we could always just like not be hit for a round, for the first round. We could just go in with Sanctuary, which is pretty okay. Uh, I think Heavy Armor Master combined with our temp 8 temp HP every turn is just real good. Since our enemies were barely breaking through our temp HP even during that fight, uh, having we're, we're basically going to be taking 6 less damage from BPS. Um, because we have 2 less from our armor, 1 less from our defender flail, and then 3 less from heavy armor master. 6 less damage every attack is going to make that 8 temp HP go a long, long way. Uh, tough, likewise, is going to increase our survivability, but n by 14, and I don't think that's as good as Heavy Armor Master. I think that's going to go a much further distance. Um, and then Resilient could be good too for just buffing up like constitution saves. Uh, that does help us concentrate a little bit better, and it also helps against other debilitating saving throws. But I think the best for us. We could also go like wizard and take. Oh no, because that's only we only get to do that spell once per long rest. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, we're just gonna take heavy armor master. I really like heavy armor master. Maybe we dip in a wizard for arcane ward. If we dip in a wizard, then our intelligence becomes our illithid save DC. Our strength increases by one too. Is that is that count in there? Hey, there you go. That it buffs up our strength mod then. Uh -uh, Theo. Oh, good girl. Theo, she's going for the cables. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go heavy armor master. 
We're gonna get our light cantrip. We're gonna get some more spells. It keeps trying to prepare guiding bolt. We don't want guiding bolt. We can't use it. Uh, throwing, I don't know, calm emotions, I guess. I don't think that really helps. But why not? Yeah, we got plus one wisdom from Hagar. So our, our wisdom's at 18 right now. Okay, here we go. That is an accept. Yeah. I feel good about this. Old person's not allowed, no. Do you allow silence? I, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Because, like, it is an AoE. Like, you're not really targeting enemies with it, but... What's inside? Y y yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't feel great about it. Glyph of Warding Sleep is definitely not allowed. Uh, let's loot these, these ghoul medics. We'll get Balthazar looted too. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, buddy. Look at all this sweet, sweet loot we got. Damn, you still streaming? I think I'm about to call the stream just after I get the Callus Glow Ring. That Balthazar fight ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to, which I really should have thought that it was going to take that long. Uh, just because... Big, big, big initiative tracker. Um, and then next stream tomorrow, we'll likely do the remaining... Storm siblings, as well as the gauntlet, and then the stream after that, we're probably going to finish up the act. Okay. So we just need to roll an at 20 on this. We don't have any other choice, because there's no other knock scrolls that we have. <laughs> you dash a lot, speedy light feet would be good. Uh, we, we had speedy light feet uh, in the earlier start of act one. Uh, vital conduit boots are just so insanely good for survivability like not having to spend every turn healing up getting the free 8 temp hp way better in my opinion than dealing a little bit of extra damage i would much rather not die and take an extra turn to kill an enemy than uh kill an enemy one turn quicker okay here we go we're gonna do a little quick save so we can do 14 rolls in a row surely one of these will be a nat 20 Will you do a die party before ending the stream? No, we save the die parties for Act 3. Once we get to the city proper. Please, I'm begging you. We're almost there. That's an 18. Looking for a nat 20, please. That was really close. I mean, that was a nat 16, I guess, but close. I hope I didn't use an inspiration for that. Nope. Fashion stream, fashion stream. Two streams from now. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while. I'll use one inspiration. Fuck it, I'll use all my inspirations. Challenge run, only use armor of Agathis. I did have a retaliation run in mind. There you go. Uh, I think that would be a fun run to do, too. Armor of Agathis, use the, the Holy Lance Helm, uh, Hellish Rebuke, that kind of stuff, you know? Callous Glow Ring. Two more points of damage against creatures that are illuminated. You'll love to see it. That's going to replace this Garbage Ring. Thank God. Two more points of damage. Huge. It's going to be phenomenal. With Armor of Agathis, you'd have to get hit and there's a bunch of synergies. Yeah, it's... Uh, Armor of Agathis is very, very good. Someone did a beating Baldur's Gate 3 run. 
without attacking run with that build. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what the challenge that I'd be doing is, but yeah, you're right. I think, uh, God, I can't remember who did that. But it was a good video. I remember watching that. Does Call the Weak Blast also do two extra damage? I don't know, actually. Uh, I think that, like, yeah, I think the AoE Blast does. Anyways, with the Gauntlet of Shar out of the way, next stream, we're gonna head to go bully the, the Thorm siblings. It was Fracture, probably? Probably, uh. I don't know why. I feel like it. I feel like it wasn't in my head. I don't know. For some, for some reason, my head is telling me it was Bouch. Or maybe it was Proxy Gate Tactician, even, you know? There's, there's so many good content creators out there. Anyways, we're going to start next stream by dealing with Malice, and then we're going to go for Thizzabald. It was Fracture. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, yeah, we're going to go for Malice then Thizzabald, and then we're going to deal with the gauntlet next stream. The ultimate Baldur's Gate 3 challenge on Trinity. I mean, there's just so many, there honestly really is so many good content creators for this game. I'm a big fan of uh, Fracture, of course, Proxy Gate Tactician, Bouch, Fion. Uh, I, I don't know if Player 5 is still planning on making more videos, but I did like the, the few that he did make. Um, yeah, no, there's there's some, there's some really good ones. The same Morgana Evelyn already. That's a good one. Hopefully I'll be among them once I get my project going. I'm sure you will, yeah. I'm excited to see what you come up with, Rune. I'm, honestly, I'm excited to see anybody's content that they come up with. Uh, I mean... Uh, we have a self-promotion channel in our Discord server, which there's a link in the description below if you want to join. If you guys do ever make videos or content on Baldur's Gate 3, do feel free to post your, your stuff in the self-promotion channel there. I do check out most of the stuff uh, that does get posted there. So I, w I love seeing people make more Baldur's Gate 3 content. And it's so cool that we have like a little challenge run community going about it. And that like a lot of these YouTubers are aware of each other too. It's it's very cool to me. Like I know Morgana, Evelyn, and uh, Fracture did a, did a little co-op thing together, which is pretty cool. Obviously me, Fionn, Player 5, we we're, 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 we're pals, I like to think. Uh, Bouch shows up in stream sometime, which is very cool. We love Bouch. It's just cool seeing how we have, like, an actual community, too. Roach Fracture and the Truant, the three who have single-handedly renewed my love in Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, I'm happy to hear it. Hopefully we can keep that love up, but, uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Uh, tune in tomorrow, same time. Uh, whoops, I took a screenshot instead of hiding the UI. Uh, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, we're likely going to stream for another six hours. I think I prefer doing six-hour streams more than, like, seven or eight hours. Uh, it's just a little easier for me the next day to, like, get up and do it again, you know? But same place, same time. I'll be here. Michelle Mindfreak will be here. Uh, yeah, pretty good stream. Only two deaths is okay. We made a decent bit of progress. Uh, and, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all, hopefully, tomorrow. I think I joined at the wrong time. Yeah, sorry, Plagu. <laughs> this was a nice length. Yeah, I, I think this was pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. See you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Adios, muchachos. Buenas noches. Join our Discord server.